That's why I praise God even though there is tears that roll down my face. I praise God in the midst of pain because if it had not been for His grace, I would not be standing here today. Serás mi Dios, tú serás mi Salvador, tú eres el que reina por los siglos y los siglos. Y yo diariamente te doy toda la honra y gloria porque tú lo mereces, mi Dios. Te doy gracias, Padre, que porque fuera de ti no hay nada, Padre. Nada es imposible, Padre, cuando tú estás el asunto. Y por eso, Padre, yo te doy honra, te doy gloria. Te doy gracias, Padre. Te pido, Padre, que tú estés en los asuntos de mi vida, Padre. En mi casa tú estás ahí. En mi trabajo tú estás ahí. En la escuela de mis hijos tú estás ahí. En la ciudad de Posey tú estás ahí. En el estado de Nueva Jersey tú estás ahí. En la nación de los Estados Unidos tú estás aquí. Porque este lugar es tuyo, Padre. Y tú tienes dominio absoluto. Hoy y por siempre te damos toda la honra. Y tu pueblo te dice gracias. Y tu pueblo te dice gracias. Y tu pueblo te da adoración. Y tu pueblo te dice gracias. Y tu pueblo te exalta y te diga gracias Padre. Gracias Padre. Gracias Padre. Recibe toda la honra y gloria mi Dios. Y a ti te damos un micrófono principal para tú recibir todo Padre. Háblanos en este día. Necesitamos más de ti. Necesitamos más de tu presencia, Padre. Transfórmalo hoy, Padre. Y desde hoy, Padre, estamos reconociendo lo que tú hiciste en la cruz del Calvario, Padre. Lo que tú hiciste más de dos mil años atrás, Padre. Hoy todavía tiene efecto en mi vida. Te doy gracias porque es esa sangre que derramaste la cruz del Calvario. Hasta el día de hoy me cubre. Hasta el día de hoy cubre mi familia. Hasta el día de hoy cubre mis hijos. Y continúa cubriéndolo hasta que tú vengas por tu pueblo. Sí, ven, Señor Jesús. Sí, Señor, ven por tu pueblo. Sí, Señor, ven por tu esposa, Padre. Te esperamos, mi Dios. Gracias por el sacrificio. Gracias porque moriste y resucitaste, Padre. Gracias porque rescataste las llaves, Padre, del infierno y de la muerte. Y junto contigo, Padre, resucitaremos un día. Gracias, Padre, por medio de tú alcanzamos la salvación. Y tenemos acceso a Padre. Te damos toda la honra y gloria. Te doy gracias, te doy gracias, te doy gracias, te doy gracias. Cuando me adora, Señor, y en este momento, aleluya. Prepara tu alabanza mientras el grupo de adoración se prepara. Prepara su alabanza, prepara su alabanza, aleluya. Prepara su alabanza, aleluya. Prepara su alabanza, aleluya. Tú eres digno de ser glorificado. Te damos gracias, Padre. En el nombre de Cristo Jesús, te damos gracias. Te damos gracias en el nombre de Jesús. ¿Cuántos pueden adorar a Dios en este momento? Levanta tu mano y dale gracias al Señor. You're worthy, Jesus. We glorify your name, my God. You alone are holy, Jesus. You are the King of kings, my God. You are the God of winning battles, Lord Jesus. You alone are worthy, my God. You alone are worthy to be incensed on the throne, Jesus. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. My God, you're worthy, Jesus. We glorify your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Jesus. Have your way in us, my God. Have your way in us, Jesus. Teach us, my God, to, to worship you in reverence, Jesus. You're worthy, my God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
mi angustia yo clamé a ti no te veo pero te puedo sentir tú estás aquí yes, Jesus. en mi angustia yo clamé No te veo, pero te puedo sentir. Tú estás aquí. Te puedo sentir. Y si Pablo y Silas te adoraron y las cadenas les fueron quitadas, Así quiero adorarte Y si Pablo y Silas te adoraron Y las cadenas les fueron quitadas Así quiero adorarte Tu amor rompe cadenas No tiene fronteras Tu luz no me condenas no tiene barrera.
close you're going to be with God. As much as you're willing to give is how much you're going to get. Hallelujah. Just be willing to let go. Be willing to let go. And to just seek him wholeheartedly. You're worthy, Jesus. Solo quiero estar contigo una y otra y otra y otra vez. No importa todo lo que cueste, tu presencia vale mucho más. Solo quiero estar contigo.
amado, mi amado, todo lo que ves para, para ti. Yes, Jesus, mi amado.
because only the Lord knows. Lo difícil que está la vida, esa es la realidad. The difficulty that it is to live. Somos cristianos. We are Christians. Le servimos a Dios, tenemos fe. We have faith, we serve the Lord. Y a veces queremos ser muy religiosos. And sometimes we want to be too religious. Sí, y decimos, eh, sí, estoy pasando por esto, pero Dios es mi fuerza. And we say, yeah, you're going through this, but God is my strength. Pero cuando usted está en su casa, but when you're in your house, en su cuarto, in your room, solo Dios sabe cómo usted se siente. Only the Lord knows how you feel. Y yo no sé ustedes, pero yo, and I don't know about you, but he I aprendido, I have learned, que está bien con decir a veces, no, no me siento bien hoy. That it's okay to say I don't feel good. Soy cristiana, pero hoy me siento débil. I'm a Christian, but I feel weak today. Soy cristiana, pero hoy me siento como que Dios me dejó, como que no me está oyendo. I'm a Christian, but I feel as though he left me. I don't hear him. Y eso esa es la realidad. And that's the reality. Simplemente porque somos cristianos no quiere decir que la vida es color de rosa. Just because we're a Christian doesn't mean we get a perfect life. No. Lo que quiere decir que nosotros podemos entender what it does mean is that we can understand que aunque esas rosas tengan espinas that even though a rose may have no a thorn duela, and it hurts porque duele because it does hurt tenemos la confianza we have the conviction y la fe and the faith de que Dios que está allá arriba that the Lord that is in heaven no está mirando he's watching us y aunque hay momentos que and sentimos que él no está ahí and even though there may be moments where we feel as though he's not there él está guardando silencio he is keeping his silence porque él está probando nuestra fe because he is trying our faith amen amen así que cada uno de los que estamos aquí each of us that is here today esto es simplemente un recordatorio this is simply a reminder de que dios está ahí that God is still there. Él está ahí. He is there. Él está mirando. He is observing. Él está escuchando. He is listening. Esas lágrimas que están sido derram que han sido derramadas. Those tears that have been Él shed. Él tiene ahí, hermano. He has them. No se canse. Don't get tired. No se canse de pedirle a Dios. Don't get weary of asking God por lo que usted necesita. For what you need. Porque la palabra de Dios me dice because the word of God tells me que él responderá a nuestras oraciones that he responds to our conforme prayer. a su voluntad que quiere decir a lo que nosotros necesitamos no que queremos at his will not what we need amen que bueno es servirle a un Dios it is such a pleasure to serve the Lord que sabe that knows exactamente lo que uno necesita exactly what we need cuando uno lo necesita when you need it eso es algo que allá afuera no se puede conseguir that's something that we can't find out there. Amén, amén. Aleluya. Queremos darle la bienvenida a la fuente. We want to give a warm welcome to the fountain. Donde el amor de Dios fluye. Where the love of God flows. Amén. Queremos darle bienvenida a las visitas que están con nosotros en este día. We want to welcome the visitors that are here today. Lo que están por primera vez. Those that are visiting us for the first time. Si usted ya vino por una segunda o tercera vez. If this is your second or third time. Le decimos que ya son familia. We say you are already family. Amén. Si nadie le ha dado una tarjeta de conexión. If no one has given you a connection card. Eh, se puede ver con algunos de los sugieres que están en las puertas o allá atrás. You can see one of the ushers that are at each door or y in the back. Eso simplemente es para mantener en comunicación con ustedes, okay? And that's simply for us to stay connected with you. Amen. Y si quieres hacerse miembro de la fuente oficialmente, and if you want to officially become a member of the fountain, también puede hablar con alguno de los sugieres. Please speak to one of the ushers or leaders. Amen. Ahora vamos a tomar 60 segundos. Now we're going to take 60 seconds. Para saludar a los unos a otros. To greet each other. Dios le bendiga. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Alaba al Señor alguien. Praise the Lord. Alaba Dios. Hallelujah. The church looks beautiful today. La iglesia se ve hermosa hoy. God bless you all. Dios le bendiga a todos. As we work our way back to our seats. Mientras vamos acomodándonos en nuestros asientos. A lot of us are Hispanic and we don't know how to stop. Muchos somos hispanos y no sabemos detenernos. <laughs> Want to tell a whole life story in a minute. Queremos contar la, la historia nuestra en un minuto. We can't help ourselves. Y no, no podemos aguantarnos. But God is good. Pero Dios es bueno. And he is a God of order. Y él es un Dios de orden. And we are here to give the announcements on today. Y estamos aquí para dar los anuncios. If I have your attention, say amen. Si tenemos su atención, digan amen. Praise the Lord. So you know that our theme of the year is go forth. Sabemos que el lema del año es Hacia adelante. And it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Es bueno estar en la casa del Señor. And to encourage one another to keep moving forward. Y animarnos el uno al otro a seguir hacia adelante. As Elizabeth was, Sister Elizabeth was saying. Como decía nuestra hermana Elizabeth. You know, there's a lot that we're going, that's going on in our lives. Hay muchas cosas que están surgiendo en nuestras vidas. And we may look at the list. Y quizás miramos al, a la lista. And may look at it as it's longer negative than positive. Y tal vez la vemos que la lista está más larga en el lado de lo negativo there's, que a lo positivo. So much bad happening. Hay tantas cosas malas que están ocurriendo. But if we can just close our eyes. Pero si cerramos nuestros ojos. Not look at that list. No mirar a la lista. Just look over the hills. Sino mirar hacia la, las montañas. Where our help comes from. De donde viene nuestra ayuda. It comes from the Lord. Que nuestra ayuda viene del Señor. And he is greater than everything on that negative list. Y él es más poderoso y más grande que cualquier lista que he tenemos. He tops it off, amen. Él va por encima de todo. Praise the Lord. So we want to just quickly again say hi to our first time guests. Queremos saludar nuevamente a los que están aquí por primera vez. And for those new guests that are not, that um, haven't been here. Y para aquellos que son visitas y nunca han estado aquí. And if you want to know more information on what's going on throughout the week at the fountain. Y si desea saber qué está ocurriendo en la semana en la fuente. Please see one of our ushers. Favor de verse con uno de nuestros ujieres. If you haven't received the connection card, amen, you can see them as well for that. Si no has recibido una tarjetita de conexión, favor de verse con uno de los ujieres o líderes. But also our information of the week. Pero también nuestra información de la semana. Which has our schedule for the week. El cual tiene nuestra agenda para la semana. Just see one of the ushers and they will gladly place, give one to you. Favor de verse con uno de nuestros líderes y ellos le ayudarán. Amen. I just want to quickly share what's going to happen this week. We have a couple changes. Uh, queremos hacer unos anuncios de esta semana, los cuales vamos a tener unos pocos cambios. On Thursday, we are having the Fountain Outreach, the Boulevard Ministries at 7 p.m. El jueves sí vamos a tener nuestro alcance en la avenida de Boulevard. Amen. And you can see our sister Estrellita, Elder Estrellita. Para más información, ver a nuestra hermana Estrellita. And we also, on uh, this Thursday... Y también este jueves, we will have at 7.30, doors are opening. A las siete y media se abren las puertas. At 7 p.m. A las siete. But at 7.30, the Patterson Campus location, they will be having their thankful Thursday service. Pero nuestro campamento localizado en la ciudad de Patterson va a tener su servicio de las siete palabras. Amen. And they're going to be sharing the seven words. Praise God. Van a estar compartiendo las siete palabras. Amen. We will not have our regional prayer gathering April 1st. No vamos a tener nuestra oración regional abril primero. The following one will be on May 6th, Monday at 7 p.m. Nuestra próxima oración regional va a ser mayo 6. Amen. And then um, this Friday, we're also having our Good Friday service. Este viernes vamos a tener nuestro servicio de Viernes Santo. Praise the Lord. We will be sharing also the seven words and the doors will open at 7 p.m. Donde también se va a estar compartiendo las siete palabras que dijo nuestro Señor en la cruz y la, el culto comienza a las siete y media. Amen. And our Splash Kids, our Splash Kids, where are you Splash Kids? Y nuestros Praise niños, ¿dónde están los niños? Amen. I want to quickly, quickly advise the parents Queremos darle un anuncio rápidamente a, a los padres. If you would love to donate any snacks. 
si quisieran donar algún alimento, please see one of our team members. You know who you are. They can raise their hands. You know them personally. You can see them in the cafeteria. Favor de verse con los líderes de la niñez. Ustedes saben quiénes son en la cafetería. Amen. And I also want to say really quick, advise the parents. Y también quería darle un consejo recordatorio a los padres. I'm sure it's been reminded to all the children. Sé que ya los niños lo saben, se les ha recordado a ellos. That they're not allowed to have cell phones while they're in Splash Kids service. <laughs> que no están supuestos a tener sus celulares mientras están en servicios de Splash Kids. Amen. So if they do have their phones, so si tienen sus teléfonos, please do not get offended. Por favor, no se ofenda. We will collect them. Si lo los colectamos. And at the end of our services, y al final de nuestro servicio, we will gladly give them back. Amen. Se lo vamos a entregar nuevamente. So please, parents, cooperate. We love you very much. A los padres, por favor, cooperen con nosotros. Los amamos. We are doing very great things with our children, and we're depositing the word of God, and we don't want them to get distracted. Estamos haciendo grandes cosas con ellos, y queremos depositar la palabra de Dios sin que haya distracción. Amen. We want them to stay focused. Queremos que ellos se queden enfocados. And we want them to pay attention y que pongan atención so that we can have their foundation set para que el fundamento esté firme. So they can move forward. Amen. Para que ellos puedan seguir hacia adelante. Praise God. I also quickly want to announce that we have our camps coming up this year. <laughs> También queremos anunciar que se aproximan Praise los campamentos. We are so excited. Estamos bien ansiosos. Because we went, we went from two camps porque fuimos de dos campamentos, men and women, damas y caballeros, and now we have four camps coming up. Y ahora tenemos cuatro campamentos que se aproximan. For all ages. Para todas edades. Amen. We have our Splash Kids camp. Tenemos el campamento de niños. Praise God. And we also have our youth camp. Tenemos el campamento Woo! de jóvenes. Yes. Yes, young people. <laughs> Splash Kids Camp, so August 2nd through the 4th. Agosto 2nd al 4 es el campamento de los niños. Youth Camp, we have August 30th through September 1st. Agosto 30 a septiembre 1 es el de los jóvenes. Women's Camp, October 4th through the, uh, through the 6th. Octubre 4 al 6 es el campamento de las damas. And I don't quite have the men's, but the men's camp is coming up too, amen? Y to be continued. De los it's in November. It's, it's in November. Okay. Now, all the birthdays in the house. We got to give a quick shout out to all the birthdays. Queremos felicitar a todos los cumpleañeros. Praise the Lord. We are in March and we wanted to um, celebrate you. Estamos en el mes de marzo y los queremos honrar. We want you to know that you are special too. Queremos que sepan que son especiales. That we love you. Que los amamos. The fountain celebrates you. La fuente los celebra God ustedes. God bless you. Dios los bendiga. And keep moving forward. Y siga hacia adelante. And any other anniversaries in the house. Y si habrá algún aniversario en la casa. May the Lord continue to bless you all too. Que el Señor continúe bendiciéndolos ustedes también. Celebrate the love that God has for the both of you as a couple. Celebramos el amor que Dios tiene para los dos de ustedes como pareja. And a marriage that prays together. Y un matrimonio que ora juntos. Stays together. Se queda juntos. Even I wasn't there. My husband didn't share. A well, he shared a little bit with me, but I got it. I got it. We pray together, we stay together. Si oramos juntos, nos mantenemos That's juntos. our foundation. Eso es la fundación. And even when, when he gets mad. Y aun cuando se enoja, I get to stay silent and slowly walk away. Puedo quedarme callada <laughs> y retroceder. Pray. Oral. And then come back. Y después entro <laughs> al cuarto otra vez. Because that's what God's love does. Amen. Porque eso es lo que hace el amor de Dios. Praise the Lord. Let's um, focus now on um, our pastor. Pastor has a couple things to say. Praise the Lord. God bless you. This is all for the announcements. Vamos a enfocarnos en nuestro pastor que tiene unas par de palabras que compartir. Any other questions, just see me, amen? Praise the Lord. Y cualquier otra pregunta, favor de verse con esta servidora. Hallelujah. Come this way, boy. Hold on. All right. That's first lady with the green today. Hallelujah. Esa es la primera dama con el verde hoy. What you doing after church today? ¿Qué está haciendo después de la iglesia? And I'm thankful, I'm thankful. Well, 
I haven't been here for quite some time, so my name is Pastor Harrison. Él no ha estado aquí por un par de semanas, so su nombre it's es a, el Harrison Sanchez. It's a pleasure to be here. Es un honor estar en la casa. Um, one of the ushers gave me a connection card upon my <laughs> arrival. Uno de los ujieres le dio una tarjetita de conexión a él entrar por la puerta. Thank you so much. Gracias. For praying for me. Por orar por mí. When I'm out doing the assignment of God. Cuando estoy afuera haciendo las asignaciones de Dios. Um, we see the glory of God out there. Vemos la gloria de Dios allá afuera. They treat me so well out there. Me tratan muy bien allá afuera. But there's no place like home. Pero no hay lugar como el hogar. Amen. We've had the privilege of preaching. Uh, we were in Harlem in St. Luke's Baptist Church two weeks ago and another church called the Remnant Church just last Sunday. Estábamos por el condado de Harlem hace dos semanas y otra iglesia llamada El Remanente la semana pasada. One celebrated their, their fifth anniversary of the third anniversary. Una estaba celebrando su tercer aniversario. The other one celebrated their 34th anniversary. Y la otra estaba celebrando su aniversario 34. Amen. So quick shout out to, um, to Remnant Church, my new family, and St. Luke's Baptist Church in Harlem, my other family. We love you. We thank God. Saludamos a estas iglesias. Amen. Los amamos. Amen. And were you with us on Friday for the Splash Kids? Uh, estuvieron con nosotros el viernes para el culto de los niños. If you miss what happened, these kids got a little Lucio. Uh, si no estaban ahí, <laughs> these kids showed off. They, they went in, and I'm so proud of them. Estoy bien orgulloso de ellos. Mason was teaching us how to praise God. Eh, Mason nos estaba enseñando a adorar a Dios. Harrison played the drums. Uh, Harito tocó la batería. The other Mason was singing. El otro Mason estaba cantando. David Jr. was praising God and, and speaking on the microphone. David Jr. estaba adorando a Dios. Nasaira sang. Nasaira cantó. I'm, I'm so proud Estoy bien orgulloso of these young kids. De estos niños. You know, some people think uh, Mucha Some gente piensa that, that kids church is a waste of time. Que el servicio de niños es una pérdida de tiempo. That when, you know, oh, it's kids church, let me just stay home. Oh, culto de niños, déjame quedarme en mi casa. No, this is an investment. Esto es we're preparing them. We're, we're seeing the church of tomorrow be molded in the church of, as the church of today. So please keep these young people in prayer. We're covering our splash kids. Amen. So let's continue to pray for them. We're so proud. Would you clap your hands one more time for all of them? And please stay in contact with us. Y favor de quedarse en conectado con nosotros. Because we want the parents to com cooperate and bring your children to every Splash Kids activity. Amen. Y pedimos la cooperación de cada padre porque queremos que usted traiga sus niños a los cultos de niños. Now, as we shift in the service, y mientras damos un giro en el servicio, um, um, I just want to give a quick shout out. Thank you so much to our brother Chris that preached in my, in my set two weeks ago. Uh, Queremos honrar al hermano Chris que predicó en mi estadía hace dos semanas. The message was entitled, I Thought I Was Stuck, and it was a beautiful connection to the series that we've been preaching. El mensaje era, pensé que estaba estancado. Amen, and we thank God for our brother Gabe as well. Uh, saludamos y honramos al hermano Gabriel. That brought a powerful word on Sunday. Que trajo una palabra poderosa el domingo. I don't think I've ever heard anybody preaching about Bruce Leroy, who's the master. No sé si he oído a alguien predicar acerca de Bruce Lee. He made me want to go back and see that movie. Me hizo querer regresar a ver la película. I don't know how I tried so much for the yellow thunders to come out my fingers, but it never worked for me. Intenté que me salieran rayos de la mano, pero no sucedió. Amen. Keep, keep the pantry in prayer. Favor de mantener el... Food pantry. Gracias. Yes, say it so they can hear you too. <laughs> Go ahead. La dispensa de comida. La dispensa de comida. Amen. Uh, continue to pray for that. 
favor de mantener eso en oración. Once we have that up and running, después que tenemos esto ya corriendo, you're going to see the church do more than just preaching and teaching. Van a ver a la iglesia haciendo más de solamente predicar We've y enseñar. We've connected with the principal. Hemos, nos hemos conectado con el principal. And with the leadership of this church, of this school. Y con el liderato de esta escuela. And uh, we are going to be feeding approximately over 200 families a month. Y vamos a estar alimentando aproximadamente 200 familias mensualmente. If you want more information, reach out to Sister Lisa. Si desea más información, a favor de verse con nuestra hermana Lisa. We'll give you more information about how you can connect with us and how you can volunteer and help. Y le daremos más información de cómo usted puede apoyar y ayudar. I heard the music. I feel like I'm in the Oscars. It's time to wrap it up. Me siento como que si estoy en los Oscar porque ponieron la musiquita. But quickly before we, um, it's time for offering before we collect our offering. Y es tiempo de ofrendar, pero antes de entrar a la ofrenda. Uh, it was brought to my attention last week. Se me vino a la atención la semana pasada. That the vice principal of this school. Que la vice principal de esta escuela. Her name is Miss Oliver. La cual se llama la dama Oliver. She got into a very fatal horrific accident with her family. Tuvo un accidente automovilístico junto a su familia. And her husband passed away. Y falleció su esposo. And uh, it was just brought to my attention that she passed away. Y se me acaba de, me acabo de enterar que ella falleció. Now we were, we, we had mixed messages about her daughter. Y tuvimos mensajes conflictos uh, sobre su hija. And um, we, we were praying for her. Y estábamos orando por ella. And we just got news today that she's still alive. Y se nos dio la noticia hoy que todavía está viva. Amen. So because this is not just a program that we do, this is a church. Y porque esto no es simplemente un programa, sino que somos una iglesia. And our foundation. Y nuestro fundamento. Is prayer. Es la oración. So, so. Would all of the prayer warriors please stand up? Vamos a pedir que todos los guerreros de oración se pongan de pie. And this is your opportunity to stand up, all of you. Y esta es la oportunidad para que todos estén de pie. No matter what level of prayer you're in, you can just talk to God and He will listen to you. No importa el nivel de oración donde usted está, Dios lo escucha. I'm going to have our brother Al Marinelli come and lead a prayer for the family and for Miss Oliver's daughter. Vamos a pedir que el hermano Al suba por aquí y él haga una oración por esta familia y por la hija que todavía está en condiciones críticas. And to the principal and, and to all of the staff that might be watching or seeing the rebroadcast of this, we connect with you in this time of grief and we pray that the Lord gives you strength and covers this whole family. Y nos conectamos con los o los televidentes que están observando de la escuela de liderato la, estamos con luto con ustedes y nos unimos a la oración con ustedes Amen. So, uh, ado, moment vamos a tomar un momento para orar por la familia and if you would be so kind as to take your neighbor by the hand and squeeze life into that hand let's pray brother Al the floor is yours sir let's lead this family in prayer vamos a llevar esta familia en oración How many believe that God answers prayer? Seven people. How many believe, this is not a joke time, how many believe that God answers prayer? All of us are here because somebody prayed for us. They interceded. As many of you know that my wife was in the hospital a couple, just a couple weeks ago. People say, I'll pray for you. We are praying for you. My wife and I experienced, we sensed, sensed, not just felt, we sensed the prayers interceding, the saints interceding with their prayers for my wife. We sensed that in a way that we've, I've never, never sensed that 
so deeply as I did when my wife was in the hospital. We are here right now at this time to intercede on the Oliver family. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. How many righteous people do we have in the house? Don't give me that false humility now. How many righteous people do we have in the house? God wants us to intercede on this family's behalf. As pastor asked me to pray, I don't even know. I don't even know this family. But the spirit inside of me, something happened with what we went through recently with my wife and I, almost losing her. The compassion that God has poured into me. As I say, I don't even know this family. I'm sitting there and I, I'm grieving. The spirit inside of me is grieving for this family. I pray that we all can get to that level of, of compassion maybe if that's it if you will, if that's the word, the right word for this. But I pray that God will hear our prayers, and he will. He will. So let us, let us pray, let us intercede for the extended family and friends of Mr. and Mrs. Oliver. We don't pray for those who have already gone. We pray for those who are here dealing in their grief. The Bible says, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. We are praying for those people that are in their grief right now. Although we may not have known her personally, we are here as God's people to intercede for that family. And to pray for Cameron, the daughter that is still in the hospital, in a coma, that she... Just as Diane did, that she would be the Lazarus that rises up. Let us pray from the depths of our spirit and intercede for this family. Amen, Fountain? Father God, Father, we humble ourselves before you, Lord. For this family, Lord. For the extended family, Lord God, and their friends, Lord. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would manifest itself, himself, to the friends and the family of the Oliver family, Lord. Lord, right now as we pray, Father God, as the nurses are over Cameron right now, Father God, keeping an eye on her vitals, Father God. I pray right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that you would do a miracle right now, Lord, that you would touch her body, that she would rise up, Father God, that you would give her new life, Father God, that you would pour your spirit into her, Lord God. And as we speak and as we pray for her right now on her behalf, Father God, Lord Jesus, I pray that you would just whisper in her ears that I am here. Take my hand. I will never, ever leave you, Cameron. I will never, ever forsake you. Follow me, little one. Father, we intercede, Lord God, through this tragedy, Lord God. We may not understand how you cause all things to work together for good, Lord, but we pray for those who are unsaved, the friends and the family of the Olivers, Father God. We pray for those that are unsaved, Lord, that you would meet them where they're at, Lord God. 
because you know perfect love. You know what they need, Lord God. Whisper that love into their hearts, Father God. Let them know that you are real, that you did not make this happen, Lord God. We rebuke any lies of the enemy right now, Father God, that will go on in their minds, Father God, saying, how did God let this happen? How God did this? No. Lord, we rebuke the lies of the enemy, Lord. We pray that they come to know you, Father God, through their grief, Father God. That you will comfort them in their mourning, Lord God. Use the fountain. Put a burden on each and every single one of our hearts, Lord God, to continue to pray for Cameron. To be here as needed as pastor puts out the needs of this family, the extended family and friends, Father God, and for Cameron, Lord. Lord, may we meet their needs. Lord, hear our prayers, Father God. Cleanse us, Lord, of any unrighteousness, Father God, so that we can, we can hear from you, Lord, and you will answer our prayers, Father God. Anything that's in the way of you hearing this prayer right now, Father God, we ask that your blood would cover it, Father God. We thank you, Lord, in advance for what you're going to do with Cameron, Father God, that you're going to raise her up, Lord, that she's going to become a woman of God, Father God. We praise you, Lord. We consider this done in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, for we know, Lord, that you are the God that heals, that delivers, And saves. Father, we praise you and we thank you, Lord, and we petition this to you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, move, move, move. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak your love into Cameron's life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Be seated in the presence of the Lord. Y tomar asientos en la casa del Señor. Be seated, be seated. We also want to pray for our sister Amanda. También queremos orar por nuestra hermana Amanda. That her aunt uh, su tía, passed away recently. Uh, falleció recientemente. And we connect to that prayer. Y conectamos a esa oración. We pray that the Lord's peace will prevail over that family in Jesus' name. Que la paz de Dios uh, sobreabunde en esa familia. The Lord would strengthen them in Jesus' name. Que les dé fuerza en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Listen, the Bible says that we rejoice with those that rejoice and we weep with those that weep. Dice la Biblia, nos regocijamos con los que se regocijan y lloramos con los que lloran. There's a time to weep. Hay tiempo para llorar. And there's a time to rejoice. Y hay tiempo para estar alegre. And even in the time of weeping, y aun en nuestros momentos de lamento, we still have hope. Todavía hay esperanza. We're the only people in the world Somos los únicos en el mundo that celebrate in the face of death. Que celebramos a, a la cara de la muerte. Amen. So let's celebrate today. Así que vamos a celebrar hoy. That God is still on his throne. Que Dios man, se mantiene en su trono. He still has the last word. Y él tiene la última palabra. And nothing catches God by surprise. Y nada toma a Jesús por sorpresa. Amen. Fountain is offering time in the house of the Lord. Es tiempo de ofrenda en la casa del Señor. Fuente. Amen. So I'm going to ask our elder Noel to come and share a word, amen, for vamos, offering. Vamos a pedir que uh, suba nuestro hermano Noel que tiene una palabra sobre la ofrenda. Amen. So would you, would you receive him today, amen, as we give unto the Lord, amen. Vamos, vamos a recibirlo a él mientras damos, nos preparamos para darle al Señor. Good seed buena semilla and good ground y buena tierra. makes a good harvest. Hace una buena cosecha. Amen. 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 Noel with us.
God bless you, church. Dios le bendiga, iglesia. Hermano, que el Señor les bendiga. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I can't let that go. Every time you say it in English, it's a little flojito. Uh, no puedo dejar eso oírlo porque cada vez que lo decimos se oye medio flojo. And then when you say it in Spanish, it's just like this. Y cuando lo dicen en español, eh, God bless you, church. Dios le bendiga, iglesia. Hermano, que el Señor les bendiga. God bless you, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Maybe it's just the second time around. Quizás es la segunda vez. It is offering time in the house of the Lord. Es tiempo de ofrenda en la casa del Señor. You guys can stay seated for now. Se pueden quedar sentados por ahora. I'm still trying to shake off that news, man. Todavía estoy tratando de desatar esa, esa noticia. Unfortunately, I've dealt with a lot of loss. Desafortunadamente, yo he tenido que lidiar con mucha pérdida. It's what happens when you have a big family. It's just the number of percentages. Es lo que sucede cuando es una familia grande. And I, I've even tried to trick myself. Y he tratado aún de manipularme yo mismo. To say that I'm getting used to it. I'm getting callous of loss. El decir que ya me estoy acostumbrando a las pérdidas. I don't even know this family. No conozco esta familia. But that just hit me in such a way. Pero eso me ha chocado de una manera. So we keep the Oliver family in prayer. Mantenemos a la familia Oliver en nuestras oraciones. My heart goes out to your family. Mi corazón se une con su familia. I thank God for Brother Al for that amazing prayer. Agradecemos al hermano Al por una hermosa oración. I'm just processing this, okay? Just let me process as we do this live. Eh, estoy todavía procesando eso. Permítenlo procesarlo mientras estamos aquí en vivo. So I could try to do my part. The Para best poder that I hacer can. mi parte lo mejor que yo puedo. We are praying for the young lady that is still in the hospital. Seguimos orando por la joven que está en el hospital. It, the reason it's hitting me so hard like this, and I know it's offering, but just allow me, please. Y me está afectando, y sé que es tiempo de ofrenda, pero permítanme. I haven't been up here in a while. No he estado aquí en bastante tiempo. So I like to take advantage. Me gusta tomar ventaja cuando so estoy aquí. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, perdóname, pero no perdóname. Our sister, our elder Lily was supposed to be right here standing next to me translating. Uh, nuestra, la servidora Lily estaba supuesto estar aquí traduciendo. She texted me. Ella I, me mandó un mensaje. I got dizzy when I got in the car. I had to turn around. I had to go back home. Me mareé cuando me monté en el auto y tuve que regresar. Let's keep our elder Lily in prayer. Vamos a mantener a nuestra hermana Lily en nuestras oraciones. I asked Brother Hendrick, where's your wife? Always here. Le dije al hermano Hendrix, ¿dónde está su esposa? Ella siempre está aquí. She dropped him off in church and she went to the, to the um, urgent care. And Lo she has a cough. Los dejó a ellos aquí en la iglesia y seguido fue rumbo para el hospital debido a una tos que tiene. I asked my brother Ivan, where's your wife? Le dije al hermano Iván, ¿dónde está su esposa? She's not feeling well. She's always here. No se siente bien, pero siempre está aquí. The enemy is trying El enemigo está intentando to attack the house. Atacar la casa. But the first thing that I text my brother Hendrix, pero lo primero que le mandé al hermano Hendrix fue something big is about to happen. Es algo grande está a punto de suceder. God is going to get the glory no matter what. Dios se va a llevar la gloria no importando qué. So whatever situation that you're going through. Uh, cualquier sea la situación que usted esté pasando. In your house, at work. En su casa, en su hogar, en el trabajo. Just know that God has the last word. Uh, quiero que sepa que Dios tiene la última palabra. God has the last word. Dios tiene la última palabra. Don't you ever forget it. Nunca se te olvide. As the enemy will try to overwhelm you with tribulation. Que mientras el enemigo trata de atacarte con tribulaciones. May the peace, the joy, and the love of God overwhelm you even more. 
que la paz, la seguridad y el entendimiento de Dios sea sobre en ustedes. Just look at it as a counter attack. Mírelo como un ataque contra, un contraataque. Amen. All right, let's switch gears now. I feel Vamos better. Vamos a cambiar, me siento más mejor ahora. Let's talk politics. Vamos a hablar de política. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I am going to vote. I'm going to vote this year. Pero sí voy a, a, a votar este año. I got, you guys are like, wait, what's happening right now? This is good. I'm going to vote, but I like to vote for winners. Yo voy a votar este año, pero voy a votar por ganadores. I'm going to tell you who I'm going to vote for. Le voy a decir por quién yo voy a votar. Y'all looking at me crazy. I'm going to tell you, it's okay. I'm Me excited. Están mirando como que si estoy loco. I vote for winners. Yo voto por ganadores. I vote for Jesus Christ. Yo voy a votar por Jesús. Y'all knew it already. Come on. Ya lo sabía. He already won. Ya él ha ganado. When he died on the cross for you and for me. Cuando murió en la cruz por usted y por mí. I'm done. We already got the preacher. Ya, All right. Ya predicamos. Okay, cool. You guys ready for this? I, I'll try to be fast. Voy a intentar ser un poquito rápido. <laughs> we're gonna do this. You guys are sitting down, so you're not in a rush, right? We good? We got time? Están sentados, so no hay prisa. I feel my wife back there behind the screen. She's like, I have Anta Noel. Uh, I know it. <laughs> you see? You see? El sienta su esposa detrás de la pantalla que dice, avanza ya. So I, I've taken a shift in the finance just a little bit. He tomado un giro en las finanzas un poco. And I'm focusing more in investing and retirement. Y me estoy uh, concentrando más en las inversiones y el retiro. All my core values are still the same. Todos mis valores siguen iguales. But some of you have noticed I've been reaching out, I've been putting stuff on Instagram, social media. Pero muchos han dado cuenta que estoy alcanzando a par, estoy poniendo cosas en las redes sociales. Yeah, I know me with Instagram, that's crazy. Yeah, say it. Él, él no es mucha una persona de las redes sociales, eso es un poquito sorprendente que él esté ahí. So I've been bothering people with 401k and investments and Roth IRAs and all these types of investments. He estado molestando a la gente con muchas preguntas acerca de sus planes de retiros y sus inversiones. We got cryptocurrency. Ahora hay la... I don't crypto. recommend. Like, no, yeah. se, no se lo recomiendo. We got single stocks. Um, hay valores. Okay. Singulares. We got, we got mutual funds. We got index funds. We got all types of investments. Hay todo tipo de ingresos. It can be very confusing. Puede ser un poco confuso. A little overwhelming. Uh, uno se siente abrumado. Gracias. And very scary. Y bien sorprendente. And when most people get overwhelmed and, sca and scared, y cuando las personas se sienten sobrecargados y asustados, they just shut down. Cierran. They're like, I ain't investing in nothing. How about that? Dicen, no voy a invertir en nada. I'm going to pick up the mattress and I'm going to throw some cash under the mattress and that's my investment right there. Voy a alzar el mattress y ahí va a colocar mi dinero y esa es mi inversión. I'm going to bury a coffee can in the backyard. That's it. Voy a poner una lata de café en... La parte atrás de mi casa. So I'm here to just set you free a little bit. Estoy aquí para liberarlos un poquito. If you have no idea what I just said. Si no tienen ninguna idea de lo que yo estoy hablando. If you have no idea how to invest. Si no tienes ninguna idea de cómo invertir. Just give me a call. No, I'm just kidding. Démelo, <laughs> llámenle. I'm just kidding. There's one investment that is internationally known. Hay un, una inversión que es conocida internacional. And that is kingdom investments. Y son las inversiones del reino. I'm going to have to say it again. Voy a tener que decirlo nuevamente. Kingdom investments. Inversiones en el reino. Investing in the kingdom. Voy a invertir en el reino de Dios. It is the most simple and easiest form of investing. Es la manera más sencilla de invertir. But it has the most return. Pero tiene más regreso. What are the returns? ¿Cuáles son los regresos? Mercy. Misericordia. Grace. Gracia. Power. Poder. Authority. Autoridad. Authority. Autoridad. Authority. Autoridad. Anointing. Unción. Health. 
salud. and finance. Y But that's the last one. Pero We're not worried about that. No está, no nos estamos concentrando en la última. God takes care of all of it. Dios se encarga de todo. So, so if you didn't hear anything else, y si no escucharon nada más, I would like to challenge to shift your mindset a little bit. Quiero retarle ustedes a que giren la mente un poco. Don't look at it as giving an offering. No lo miren como dando una ofrenda. Or giving your tithing. O dando los diezmos. Look at it as investing into the kingdom. Mírelo como que yo estoy invirtiendo en el reino de Dios. All these things, you will get it back. Porque todas estas cosas vienen de regreso. Amen. 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 Let's stand up to our feet. Vamos a estar sobre nuestros pies. Let's open up our Bibles to Matthew 6:33. Abremos nuestras Biblias a Mateo 6:33. And when you have it, say Amen. Cuando lo tengan, digan Amen. Kingdom investments. Inversiones en el reino. I think I'm a copyright that I'm gonna use it for the next business venture I open. Creo que lo lo voy a utilizar para mi propio don't, don't take it, right? Don't take it. No lo utilicen. We read, everybody has it, Matthew 6, 6 34. 6, Very common verse. 34. We read in the name of the Father, Leemos en el nombre del Padre, the Son, del Hijo, and of the Holy Spirit. Y el Espíritu Santo. Amen. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Mas buscar primeramente el reino de Dios y su justicia y todo lo demás vendrá por añadidura. Shift that mentality, church. Cambia esa mentalidad, iglesia. Every penny you give. Cada centavo que usted da. Investing with your time. Invirtiendo con su tiempo. With ministering. Con ministrando. Just know that it's going to good ground. Solamente recuerden que eso va a buena tierra. To the kingdom of God. Para el reino de Dios. Let's raise up our offerings and let's pray. Father God, I come before your presence. I give you thanks, glory, and honor. I ask you to bless those that can give and can't give. You know the situation, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Father God, to put inside of us, in our minds, Lord Jesus, the shift to see that everything that we can give, Lord God, is an investment to your kingdom, whether it's time, whether it's money. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. A little housekeeping before... Don't follow the ushers, okay? Because that's not correct. We're going to start from the back. Vamos a empezar desde atrás. And then the first, the front, I got you. Y después on, hacia I got el frente. It's okay, it's biblical. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Relax. Que los just, serán I know primero. you guys are excited to give your offering. Everybody just wants to run and here you go, I'm trying to invest. Let's go. Todo el mundo está ansioso por llegar y invertir. Please be patient. Favor de tener paciencia. As once you see the usher, Cuando usted vea los ujieres, you come down. We start from the back row. Uh, empezamos con la fila de atrás. As the ushers come down, then you're next. Mientras los ujieres vienen bajando, después usted va próximo. You walk down the aisle. Baja por el pasillo. And then you make a left. Y haces una you izquierda. You go this way. Y vienen por aquí. And you go around. Y da la vuelta. It's closed over there. You can't go that way. Está cerrado allá, so no pueden pasar And don't go allá. back because you're going to bump into like 87 people. Just come around and have a seat. Amen. Baje por el pasillo y da la vuelta. God bless you, church. The worship team with you. Nuestro equipo de adoración con nosotros. Alabada Jehová, naciones, todas, pueblos, todos, alabale. Porque ha engrandecido sobre nosotros su misericordia y la verdad de Jehová es para siempre. Aleluya, amén. La verdad de Jehová es para siempre. Aleluya, amén. Alabar a Jehová, naciones todas, pueblos todos, alabarle. Porque ha engrandecido sobre nosotros su misericordia y la verdad de Jehová es para siempre. Aleluya, amén. La verdad de Jehová es para siempre. Aleluya, amén. No hay Dios, no 
today. Es bueno estar en la casa hoy. I know we've been standing for a long time, so I want you to get right into the word. Yo sé que hemos estado parados por algún tiempo, así que vamos a entrar en la palabra. Today is Palm Sunday. Hoy es domingo de 
palmas. And we're going to we're going to pause the preaching, the series that we have been in. Vamos a pausar la serie en la cual nos encontramos. And I have a word to share with you in regards to Palm Sunday. Y tengo una palabra para compartir en cuanto al Domingo de Ramos. I do, however, at, well, as well, want to remind all of you that this Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. Y también quiero recordarle que este domingo que viene es Domingo de Resurrección. I want you to reach out to all of your family and all of your friends Quiero que alcance a sus familiares, sus amigos. connect with them Conéctense con ellos. bring them to the church Tráigalo a la iglesia. amen we are expecting the Lord to do marvelous and wondrous things Esperamos que el Señor va a hacer cosas milagrosas ese amen día. open up your Bibles with me Abran sus Biblias conmigo. to the book of Mark Al libro de Marcos. chapter 11, Capítulo 11 verse 1 through 10 versículos 1 al 10. So thankful and so happy to see our sister Ramona with her beautiful children in the house today. She has strong genes and her daughters look like her sisters. Triplets are now. Thank you so much, but we missed you and we're thankful that you're here with us. Amen. Brother Al's doing the work in um, Jennifer's parents' house, Elsie and Lou's house. Nuestro hermano Al está haciendo un trabajo en la casa de los papás de Jennifer, I guess de he was Louis, Elsie. He was opening up a wall, I guess. Estaba abriendo una pared, parece. And he found something that I made Jennifer when I was in high school. Él encontró algo que yo le entregué y hice para Jennifer cuando estábamos en la high school. I had shop class. Yo estaba en una clase de, de the shop and and I was and I made a, a heart shaped keychain y le hice un un llavero de en forma de corazón and I drilled our name on it y nos y lo puse nuestros nombres ahí en el corazón and it said January 1st 2003 y dice junio primero de 2003 this was 21 years ago 21 años atrás and um I haven't seen that since I was in high school because we no lost he, it. No he visto eso porque lo perdimos de, desde la high school. And he found it. He gave it to us. So such a gift. I thank you so much for that. Y lo encontró y se lo entregó a ella hoy. Gracias al hermano Al. Sometimes you just got to remember how far you've come. A veces tenemos que recordar lo lejos que hemos llegado. And I'm thankful that we have a good relationship. Y estoy agradecido que tenemos una relación buena. That we've been together for 20 years. One years without breakup. Y hemos estado juntos, Jennifer y yo, por Hallelujah. 21 años sin separarnos. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to praise God, but I'll praise God for that. Hallelujah. Tiene que alabar a Dios, pero yo sí lo alabo por eso. Amen. Mark chapter 11. Marcos capítulo 11. Verse 1 through 10. Versículos 1 al 10. When you have it, say amen. Cuando lo tengan, diga amen. I'll read one verse and you read the other kind, sir. And the amen. Bible says, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now when they drew near Jerusalem to Bethpage the, and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent Two of his disciples. Dice, cuando se acercaban a Jerusalén y llegaron a Betfage y la Betania, junto al Monte de los Olivos, Jesús envió a dos de sus discípulos. And he said to them, go into the village opposite you, and as soon as you have entered it, you will find a colt tied, and which no one has sat. Loose it and bring it to me. Con este encargo, vayan a la aldea que tienen enfrente, Tan pronto como entren en ella, encontrarán atado un burrito en el que nunca se ha montado nadie. Desátenlo y tráiganlo acá. So they went their way and found the colt tied, the door, tied to the door outside on the street and they loosed it. Y si alguien pregunta por qué hacen eso, díganle, el Señor lo necesita y enseguida lo devolverá. Did I miss verse 3? Okay. And if anyone says to you, why are you doing this? says the Lord, say to the, say the Lord has need of it and immediately he will send it there. Verse 4 as well. So they went their way and found the colt tied by the door outside on the street and they loosed it. Fueron, encontraron un burrito afuera en la calle atado a un portón y lo desataron. Verse 5. But some of those who stood there said to them, what are you doing loosing the colt? Entonces, algunos de los que estaban ahí preguntaron, ¿qué hacen desatando el burrito? And they spoke to them just as Jesus had commanded, so they let them go. Ellos contestaron como Jesús había dicho, y dejaron que lo desatara. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their clothes on it, and he sat on it. 
Llevaron pues el burrito a Jesús, luego pusieron encima sus mantos y él se montó. And many spread their clothes on the road and others cut down leafy branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Muchos tendieron sus mantos sobre el camino, otros usaron ramas que habían cortado en los campos. Then those who went before and those who followed cried out saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Tantos los que iban delante como los que iban detrás gritaban, Hosanna, bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Bendito el reino venidero de nuestro padre David. Hosanna en las alturas. Last year I, I shared a word similar to this passage. El año pasado compartí una palabra similar a este mensaje. And how Jesus video. came in not as the people expected him to come. Como Jesús llegó, no como la, el pueblo lo esperaba llegar. Uh, today I want to focus on the fact that he used this donkey. Hoy quiero enfocarme en que él usó este burrito. And I want to highlight what Jesus said. Y vamos a enfocarnos en lo que Jesús dijo. To the disciples, he said, tell them that the Lord has need of it. A los discípulos le dijo, díganle que el, el Señor lo necesita. So for these next few moments, I want to speak to you as the Spirit of the Lord flows in the house. The Lord needs it. Bajo el Espíritu, vamos a fluir bajo el tema hoy, el Señor lo necesita. Look at your neighbor said the Lord needs it. Mira a tu vecino y dile el Señor lo necesita. Wrong neighbor took look at somebody else and say the Lord needs it. Mira al otro vecino y dile el Señor lo necesita. Amen. Father, we ask you that you would speak expressively through your word to our hearts and to our minds. Father, we have come with expectancy in our hearts. We thank you today for how you will speak, Father. We thank you today that your word will be medicine to our Spirit, Father, we ask you that you would speak in such a way that it would leave no room for doubt. Father, we ask you that you would speak in such a way that it will confirm, it will, it will encourage, it will correct. Father, do what you and only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus and the people of God said amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence Pueden of the sentarse Lord. En la presencia del Señor. Amen. Look at your neighbor one more time and say the Lord needs it. Mira a su vecino una vez más y dile el Señor lo necesita. In the synoptic gospels here in the book of Mark, en los evangelios aquí en cuanto al libro de, Mar de Marcos, chapter 11, de, capítulo 11, we see the the temperature of the people here because of the time of the feast. Vemos eh, la temperatura de eh, la gente acá porque en cuanto estaba en tiempo de fiesta. They were celebrating a feast called the feast of Passover. Estaban celebrando eh, la Pascua. It was being honored. Estaba siendo honrada. People all over the city and in Jerusalem remembered what the Lord has done thousands of years before. Recordando aquí en el pueblo la persona lo que el Señor había hecho miles de años atrás. This was a time here that all of the Jewish people from the Mediterranean world would come together at this centerpiece, the 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 center of the city of Jerusalem. Ese era un tiempo cuando los judíos venían y se juntaban en el centro de la ciudad de Jerusalén. They celebrated what God did. Celebrando lo que el Señor había hecho. And what God did was that years back the people were slaves in Egypt. Y lo que el Señor había hecho era que años atrás ellos eran esclavos en e Egipto. And fathers would come and sit their children on their lap. Y padres venían y sentaban sus hijos encima de sus rodillas. And tell the story. Y le contaban la historia. Of what God has done. Lo que Dios había hecho. Tell the story. Decir la historia. Of God's mighty hand. De la mano poderosa de Dios. Delivered their forefathers. Que libertó a sus padres de they, antemano. They, they would talk about the ten plagues. Hablando de las diez plagas. And, and how the Lord at the end of this plague took the firstborn of every Home. Y como el Señor en la última plaga the tomó el death, right. primogénito de cada casa. And, and, and the warning was that they were to take the lamb and shed the blood of this lamb. Y la advertencia era que tenían de tomar una, una oveja y derramar la sangre de esa oveja. And place the blood on the doorpost of every home. Y tomar la sangre y ponerla sobre los postos de la puerta. That when the angel of death would come. Que cuando el ángel de la muerte viniera. It would not come in 
because he saw the blood of the lamb covering the doorpost of the house. No entraría a esa casa porque viera la sangre que estaba puesta sobre el puesto de la puerta. Death would pass over. La, la muerte hubiera pasado por encima. And that's why they called it Passover. Y por eso se llama en inglés Passover. Because the de death would not come in because of the blood. Porque la muerte no entrara adentro, no entra, entró adentro por la sangre. Now we can celebrate our own Passover as well. Así nosotros podemos también celebrar nuestra propia because we have the blood of the Lamb la del that has been shed on the cross que ha sido en la cruz, that has been applied over our lives sobre vidas, and because of the blood y por esa sangre, death cannot come in. La no puede Now I know that we will all die eventually Yo sé que cada uno de vamos a morir, but our spirit will always have eternal life. Pero vida can we just take a moment and just say thank you for the blood Podemos tomar un momento y decir gracias por la sangre. Where would we be without the blood of the Lamb? Donde estuviéramos nosotros sin la sangre del Had it not been for the blood of Jesus, si no fuera por la sangre de Jesús, death would have swept over your house. La muerte hubiera venido sobre su casa. Had it not been for the blood of Jesus, si no fuera por la sangre de Jesús, death would have taken you and called you by name. La muerte te hubiera agarrado y llamado por nombre. But if I could just preach this the way I feel it, pero si pudiera predicar esto como lo siento, I thank God for the blood. Le doy gracias a Dios por la sangre. Is there anybody here today that can remember to praise God for the blood of the Lamb, the blood that cleansed me, the blood that forgave me, the blood that justified me, the blood that redeemed me, Hallelujah. the blood that delivered me. It's the blood of Jesus that gave me peace of God and gave me peace with God. It's the blood of Jesus that gave me everlasting life. It's the blood of Jesus that gave me access to come before his throne not as a slave but as a son, a child of God. I thank God for the blood of that innocent lamb that was shed for us that can heal my body that can give peace to my turbulent soul look at your neighbor and say don't forget about the blood the Passover was a feast to celebrate what God has done and it's, and it's very important not to celebrate what God has done and forget that God is a God that did not just do it before but he's able to do it again. Y olvidar que Dios no es simplemente un Dios que lo hizo anterior, pero un Dios que lo continúa haciendo y lo puede hacer otra vez. Would you nudge the person next to you and say God is able to do it again? Dale un empujito así a tu vecino y dile Dios lo puede hacer otra vez. But if I can get a little more profound in this idea. Pero si podemos entrar un poquito más profundo en esta idea. We celebrate what God has done. Celebramos lo que Dios hizo. But in a way we have to pause and celebrate what God didn't do. Pero de manera también tenemos de pausar y celebrar lo que Dios no hizo. Celebrate that God didn't consume me because of my sin. Celebrar que Dios no me consumió por mi pecado. Sometimes you have to have a mature type of praise. A veces tenemos que tener una alabanza madura. Because it's easy to praise God for what he has done. Porque es fácil alabar a Dios por lo que él ha hecho. It's easy to praise God for what happened. Es fácil alabar a Dios por lo que pasó. But if there's anyone here today that can praise God for the things that did not happen. Pero si hay alguien aquí que puede alabar a Dios por las cosas que no pasaron. Because you have no idea what the Lord has protected you from. Porque usted no tiene ni idea de la cosa que Dios te ha protegido. You have no idea how, how the Lord has rescued you from dangers seen and dangers unseen. Que Dios te ha salvado de peligros vistos y peligros no vistos. There's some things that did not happen. Hay cosas que no pasaron. That should have happened. Que debieron de haber pasado. There's things that did not happen. Cosas que no pasaron. That could 
have happened. Que pudieron haber pasado. And I'm not here today y no estoy aquí hoy because of how good I am. Por lo bueno que yo soy. We're still alive today Estamos vivos hoy because we have an invisible God porque tenemos un Dios invisible that's doing things in the invisible que está haciendo cosas en lo invisible. And we have no idea what's happening in that realm. Y no tenemos idea lo que está pasando en esa área. So before you start whining over the things that you don't have, Entonces, antes que tú a quejarte de las cosas que tú no tienes, take a moment and just thank God toma un momento y dale gracias a Dios for the things that he is doing that we have no idea about. Por las cosas que él está haciendo que ni tenemos idea que él está haciendo. It could have happened, que pudiera haber pasado, but it did not happen, pero no pasó. Because the blood covered me. Porque la sangre me cubrió ah. a mí. The blood covered me. La sangre me cubrió. Oh, a mí. I thank God for the blood. Te doy gracias a Dios por la sangre. Because every day, the older you get, you could just think it could have been me. Porque mientras más viejo nos ponemos, siempre decimos, pudo me pudo haber pasado. Eso pudo haber sido yo. Don't don't ever wait to praise God for something big to happen. No espere alabar a Dios por algo grande que pase. Some of you, you're waiting for your big miracle. Algunos de ustedes están esperando el milagro grande. You're waiting for a big move. Esperando por una movida grande. You're, you're waiting for a big blessing. Una bendición grande. But don't wait for something big to happen. No espere que algo grande pase. Don't wait for the obvious things to come to pass. No espere porque pasen las cosas obvias. I, I dare you to begin to thank God for the little things. Les reto a comenzar a dar gracias a Dios por las cosas pequeñas. People from all over Israel uh, became and started their pil pilgrimage to, to this city, Jerusalem. Este, la gente vinieron y comenzaron su peregrinaje, thank you, a la, a la ciudad de Jerusalén. To celebrate this holiday and also there was a lot of people that came to Jerusalem to meet and see this man called Jesus that everybody was talking about. Y había muchas personas que venían porque querían a ver con sus ojos a ese hombre llamado Jesús que todo el mundo estaba hablando. Jesus was different. Jesús era diferente. Je Je Jesus was, was out of the box. He did things differently. A Jesús hacía cosas diferentes, no como lo normal. People from all over the area heard about this life-changing teacher. Las personas oían de este, esta persona que cambiaba las vidas, este maestro they que heard, cambiaba vidas. They heard about this friend of sinners. Ab uh, oyeron hablar de este amigo de pecadores. They heard about this miracle worker. Este hombre que hacía milagros. Matter of fact, at this moment, only a week ago, Jesus stood over the tomb of his friend Lazarus. En este momento que vemos acá, hace una semana atrás de eso Jesús estaba parado sobre eh, enfrente de la tumba de su amigo Lázaro he did one of the most impressing miracles of his day y hizo uno de los milagres milagros más impresionantes de su día where he cried out donde él llamó called Lazarus name lo llamó por nombre a Lázaro and commanded death to loose him y mandó a la muerte que lo soltara and, 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 and Lazarus resurrected from the dead y Lázaro resurrectó Resurrectó de la muerte. And, and, and he came out in his grave clothes. Y salió con su ropa de tumba. This, this man, Jesus, was something different. Este hombre, Jesús, era algo diferente. He was not like the speakers of the day. No era como esa persona que hablaban en esos días. That were tied to the Mosaic law and the Ten Commandments. Que estaban agarrados, amarrados a los mandamientos y la ley de Moisés. That they spoke in a monotone a repetitive nature. Que hablaban con un tono simple y con repetición. They were slaves to the law. Eran esclavos a la ley. They followed it perfectly. Lo seguían perfectamente. And it was almost depressing. Y era casi mente algo deprimido. And, and, and Jesus came and spoke with authority, spoke with life, had a personality. People wanted to know who this Jesus was. Y Jesús vino y hablaba con vida, con personalidad, y las personas querían saber quién era este Jesús. Ah, oh, Lord, Jesus was more than just a motivational speaker. Él era más que simplemente un autor moti eh, de motivación. He, he was more than just a miracle worker. Era más que un, un hacedor de milagros. To many, he was the prophesied king. A muchos era el rey profetizado. Of the Old Testament. Del Antiguo Testamento. All throughout the Old Testament. Durante el 
Antiguo Testamento entero. You see it in all of the major and minor prophets. Lo vemos en los profetas menores y mayores. That a king is coming. Que un rey venía. A king will come to to rescue us from this Roman oppression. Que un rey venía para rescatarnos de esta oprimisión, eh, estar oprimidos de los romanos. They were looking for this Jesus to be the great general that would Free me from oppression. Buscaban que Jesús sería ese gran general de ejército que no ibas a libertar de esta opresión. They looked to Jesus Miraron as if he was the one that was going to shut politics and kill Caesar and destroy Roman authority. Miraban a Jesús como que iba a venir y iba a destruir eh, eh, todo la, 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 lo, lo político y iba a matar a César. Jesus did not come that way though. Jesús no vino de esa manera. Jesus did not come with a sword. Jesús no vino con, no vino con espada. He did not come with a crown. No vino con corona. He did not come with power and authority of men. No vino con poder y autoridad sobre hombres. He came humble. Vino humilde. He came humble. Vino humilde. This was not what we were expecting. Esto no era lo que nosotros esperábamos. We were not expecting Jesus to come with a humility. I, I need I need Jesus to come with authority and turn this around. No esperábamos que Jesús viniera con humildad. Yo necesitaba, buscaba a un Jesús que venía con autoridad y que cambiara todo esto. Can I tell you something? Puedo decirle algo. Just because you're humble doesn't mean that you're weak. Simplemente porque usted es humilde no significa que es débil. Humility doesn't mean that you're allowing people to manipulate you. La humildad no significa que tú estás permitiendo que las personas te manipulen. Jesus, though he came through those city gates humble, he still had an authority. He still was the son of the living. God. Jesús, aunque vino y entró con Ooh. esa humildad, aún tenía autoridad y era el hijo de Dios. He did not come with his head down. No vino con su eh, rostro para abajo. He came with some power. Él vino con poder. Setting into motions what would lead to his death on the cross. Comenzando lo que últimamente iba a llegar a su muerte en la cruz. Uh, the chapter before this tells us that Jesus literally was wanted. El capítulo antes de eso nos dice que Jesús literalmente estaba siendo perseguido. I wouldn't be surprised if I was there walking through the city, uh, 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 city uh, paths of Jerusalem seeing wanted signs of Jesus dead or alive. Me imagino que yo en ese tiempo hubiera estado caminando y hubiera visto los postes puestos de buscando a Jesús muerto o vivo. Can you imagine? Imagínense. Jesus, Jesús, our Savior, nuestro Salvador, meek and mild, así bien humilde, had wanted signs tenía esos poster puesto plastered all over the city durante la ciudad entera they wanted to kill him querían matarlo who wanted to kill him quién quería matarlo the religious leaders wanted him to be quiet los líderes religiosos querían callarlo because every time Jesus opened up his mouth porque cada vez que él abría su boca a revival would start un avivamiento comenzaba a revolution would follow una revolución seguía every time Jesus entered a place cada vez que Jesús entraba en un lugar He began to shake off the status quo. Things happened Comenzó, when Jesus entered. Cada vez que él entraba a un lugar, cosas comenzaban a pasar. I thought it was interesting Yo me lo that not only did they want to kill Jesus, que no solamente querían matar a Jesús, remember Lazarus that he just resurrected from the dead? Recuerden el Lázaro que acaba de resucitar? They were trying to kill him as well. A él lo querían matar también. I know Lazarus was not scared because he already died once. Yo sé que Lázaro no tenía miedo porque ya él había muerto una vez antes. But not only Only were they trying to kill Jesus? Pero no solo querían matar a Jesús. They were trying to kill the people affected by the life of Jesus. Querían también yeah. matar a la persona que ha sido afectada por la vida you de know, Jesús. You know you're anointed. Sabes que tú estás ungido. You know that God's hand is over your life. Sabes que la mano de Dios está sobre tu vida. When your haters would try to get others that you bless just to get you. Que los los que te odian quieren que agarrar a la persona que tú has bendecido simplemente para llegar a donde I want to pause right there just for a second. You know you're blessed. 
when the enemy tries to attack your family to mess up your faith. Cuando el enemigo trata de atacar tu familia para estar eh, tratando de impactar tu fe. Listen, when you are blessed. Cuando tú eres bendecido. Matter of fact, look at the person next to you. Say you're looking at a blessed person. Mira you're looking a tu lado y dile, estás mirando una persona bendecida. At a blessed person. When when you are blessed. Cuando eres bendecido. Things in your life begins to flow. Cosas en tu vida comienzan a fluir. When you are blessed. Cuando eres bendecido. People around you start noticing. La persona alrededor comienzan a fijarse. I wish I had somebody to talk back to me in this house. And the enemy, y el enemigo, if he can't mess with you, si no puede, eh, contigo, he'll try to mess with the things connected to you to bring discouragement onto you. Para tratar de desanimarte a ti. Uh, but I came to let somebody know today Pero yo vine a dejarle saber a alguien aquí that there is a hedge of protection around you. Que hay una protección que te rodea. And I came to declare a word over you and say in Jesus name as for me and my as for me and my as for me and my me, me, me. We will be blessed. Vamos a ser bendecido. Satan, Satanás. you can't touch my marriage. No puedes tocar mi matrimonio. Because I'm blessed. Porque soy bendecido. Satan, Satanás. you can't touch my children. No puedes tocar mis hijos. Because I'm blessed. Porque soy bendecido. You can't touch my money. No puedes tocar mi dinero. Because I'm blessed. Porque soy bendecido. You can't touch my ministry. No puedes tocar mi ministerio. Because I'm blessed. Porque soy bendecido. And every now and then, y de vez en cuando, you just gotta sit back. Tiene que sentarte. Stand up. Stick your chest out. El pecho, Open up your mouth abrir tu boca, and say everything decir, todo, that's connected to me. Está a mí. Everything todo, that's connected to me está is a blessed. Está the devil is alive. El es un the blood of Jesus de Jesús covers me, me cubre a mí. covers my marriage, cubre mi covers my business, cubre mi covers my children, cubre mis hijos. covers my present. Cubre mi present. Cover my future mi futuro, in the name of Jesus. En el de Jesús. If you're covered si eres estás and cubrido, you're blessed, y estás lift up your hands tus manos and say thank you y for protecting me. Por mi thank you Gracias for preserving me. Por I, I came to declare that today. Yo vine a declarar eso and hoy. I feel strongly y me siento exposing the enemy. Exposando así al enemigo. Can you see? He said, if we can't mess with Jesus, I'm going to start messing with the people that were affected by his life. Dicen, si no podemos eh, eh, agarrar a Jesús, vamos a comenzar a atacar a las personas que fueron afectadas por su vida. I don't want to be the only one blessed in my house. No quiero ser el único bendecido en mi hogar. I don't want to be the only one happy in my marriage. No quiero ser el único contento en mi matrimonio. I don't want to be blessed while my children are dying. No quiero ser bendecido mientras mis hijos están muriendo. I, I don't want. I want everything connected to me. Yo quiero que todo lo que está conectado a mí to be blessed. Que sea bendecido. Look at your neighbor. Mira a tu vecino. And say, if you're connected to me, y si, si estás conectado a mí, you're gonna be better. Tú vas a ser mejor. Because the oil that flows on me, porque el aceite que fluye en mí, is gonna flow on you as well. Va a fluir en ti también. Can I teach something, though? Puedo enseñar algo. Because if we believe that to be true, si que eso es verdad, that everything connected to me is blessed. Que todo lo que está a mí es hear this, this, this might take your hallelujah out your mouth. Esto, eso le quite la de su boca. You gotta be careful who you're connected to. Tiene que tener a quien estás you gotta be careful Tiene que tener who you allow a quien tú to get into your inner circle. A quien tú de tu so the Bible says la dice, love amar and even love your enemies. Y aún amar tus enemigos. And the Bible don't tell me to bring my enemies close into my house and sleep no over my, my room. Enemigo adentro que lo haga y que lo deje dormir en mi cuarto. You gotta love smarter and not harder. Tiene que amar inteligentemente. I'm a love people at a distance. Voy a amar a personas de una distancia. But as for me in my house, pero a mí y mi hogar, I refuse. Yo rehuso to come to your house as your pastor de llegar a tu casa como tu pastor and invest my best over your children y invertir mi mejor sobre tus hijos and give my children my scraps y darle a mis hijos lo menor the best lo mejor flows in your house first fluye en tu casa primero the best lo mejor flows in your house first fluye en tu casa because primero. if it's not flowing in my house porque si no fluye en mi casa it can't flow in anyone else's no puede fluir en la casa de nadie más look at your neighbor say it starts in the house Mira tu vecino y dile, comienza en el hogar. 
I just had to get that out of my chest. Because when I found out in the Bible they were trying to kill Lazarus too, I said, the devil is a liar. I see this. I see the strategy here. Cuando me di cuenta que querían atacar a Lazarus, también dije, el diablo es mentiroso, porque ahí entendí la estrategia. Jesus came with a mission of love. Jesús vino con una misión de amor. And it was a mission impossible. Y era una misión imposible. For man to handle the weight of this responsibility. Para que el hombre mantenga el peso de esta responsabilidad. And because of that, Jesus knew his future. Y por eso Jesús sabía su futuro. And, and the most vulnerable we see Jesus. Y lo más vulnerable que vemos a Jesús. The beautiful balance of his 100% deity and his 100% humanity were both exposed in the Garden of Gethsemane. La belleza del ser 100% Dios y ser 100% hombre lo vemos en el jardín de Gethsemane. Where he prayed while his disciples slept. Mientras él ora, mientras los discípulos dormían. And in the twilight of that night. Y ahí en esa noche, medianoche, he prayed. Él oró. With emotion. Con emociones. That overwhelmed him. Que le sobretomaron a to él. the point where the Bible says that he sweat blood. Hasta el punto que dice la Biblia que él sudó sangre. A doctor told me that that is possible. Un doctor me dijo a mí que eso es posible. Because you can be so much under pressure. Que uno puede estar bajo tanta presión. To the point where what is called your capitulary glands begin to burst. Que llega al punto que hay algunas cosas que comienzan a explotarse en, en los ojos. And while you sweat, your blood vessels release blood as well. Imagine being so overwhelmed that blood and sweat was coming out of your head. Imagínese estar, estar bajo tanta presión que el sudor y la sangre cae así sobre su rostro. If you never had that much stress, si usted nunca ha tenido tanto estrés, don't whine. No se queje. Jesus, Jesús, was so vulnerable. Fue tan vulnerable that he said, Lord, que dijo, Señor, if there's any other way, si hay alguna otra manera, let this cup pass over me. Que este vaso pase sobre mí. That was his humanity. Eso fue su humanidad. And then all of a sudden, his deity stood up. Y de repente entró su deidad. And said, not my will. Y dije, no, dice, no mi voluntad. But your will be done. Pero tu voluntad se ha hecho. That, my friend, is a mark of a child of God. Eso es una marca de un hijo de Dios. Where we can whine to the Lord. Donde podemos quejarnos al Señor. We can cry to him. Podemos llorarle a él. But then our spirit. Pero de su espíritu. Wakes up in the middle of that. Se levanta en medio de eso. And said, let not my will be done. Y dice, no se haga mi voluntad. Lord, I know what you're telling me to do is difficult. Señor, yo sé lo que tú me estás diciendo que haga es difícil. But if you call me to do it, you will give me the strength to go through with it. Pero si tú me has llamado a hacerlo, tú me darás la fuerza para hacerlo. If the Lord called you to do it, he'll give you the strength to go through it. Si el Señor te llamó a hacerlo, él te dará la fuerza para pasarlo. Are you here still with ¿Están me? Están aquí todavía? So he, he knew what he was coming into Jerusalem to do. Él sabía lo que venía a Jerusalén a hacer. He wasn't coming to receive praise. Él no vino o no venía a recibir alabanza. He wasn't coming to come out on social media. No venía para salir en las redes. He was not coming for all of that. He, he came with a destination and a destiny in mind. El vino con una destinación y con un destino en mente. He came El vino with the cross con la cruz in his eyes. En los ojos. He did not come with his head down. El no vino con el rostro bajado. He didn't come here with his hoodie over his head, slipping in through the corners, hiding behind a palm tree, hoping that they won't see him. Él no entró con su hoodie puesto tapado a las escondidas para que lo no reconozcaran. No, no, no. My boy exploded through the gates of Jerusalem. No, él entró y explotó por esa verja de Jerusalén. Even though he knew that he was wanted and they were looking for him aunque sabía que estaba siendo perseguido y que lo estaban buscando the destiny of the cross el destino de la cruz was greater than the distractions and the disappointments of men fueron más grande que las distracciones 
de los hombres. Ah, Jesus was not a punk. No, no, no. He was not fearful. He was not intimidated. Jesús no era temeroso y no estaba siendo intimidado. Jesus came in anyway. Jesús vino como quiera. Look at your neighbor say he came in anyway. Mira su vecino y diga, él vino como quiera. They were trying to kill him, but he came in anyway. Querían matarlo, pero él llegó como quiera. They were trying to put him in jail, but he came in anyway. Querían meterlo preso, pero él entró como quiera. And if we are to be followers of Jesus, y si nosotros somos seguidores de Cristo, there's times in our lives that we have to rebuke the spirit of fear that holds us from coming in anyway. A ver tiempo que tenemos que reprender el espíritu de temor cuando debemos de entrar como quiera. Look at your neighbor say lift up your head. Mira tu vecino y dile levanta tu cabeza. Lift up your head. Levanta tu cabeza. Lift up your eyes. Levanta tus ojos. And walk in. Y camina dentro. Like a child of God. Como un hijo o hija de Dios. Walk in. Camina dentro. Like a daughter of the king. Como una hija del rey. Like a son of the most high como God. Como un hijo del más alto Dios. I wish I had somebody. Quisiera tener a alguien. That can talk back to me in this house. Que pudiera hablarme a mí en esta casa. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, they're going to talk about you anyway, right? If they talk about you anyway, I'm going to be like Jesus. I'm going to walk through those gates whether you like me or not, whether you talk about me or not, whether you, whether you, whether you speak against me or not. Look at your neighbor and say, confidence. I am not going to belittle myself no to your a, expectations of me. No me voy a bajar yo mismo a la expectativa tuya de mí. Don't ever live your life for the comfort of others. No viva tu vida por el comfort de otros. I wish I had someone to talk back to me. Quisiera tener alguien aquí que me hable en esta casa. But I want to be like Jesus. Yo quiero ser como Jesús. I want to have Christ's confidence. Tengo, quiero tener la confianza de Cristo. I want to live my life quiero vivir mi vida to provoke other people to be more like him. Para provocar a otros a ser más como él. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Pablo dijo, sígame a mí como yo sigo a Cristo. If Jesus had courage, so will I. Si Jesús tenía valentía, yo también la voy a tener. If Jesus had authority, so will I. Si Jesús tenía valentía, también yo también la voy a tener. If Jesus had power, so will I. Si Jesús tenía autoridad, y poder, también yo la voy a tener. Jesus came with confidence. Jesús vino con confianza. But this is the picture that brought some type of confusion. Pero esta es la foto, la imagen que trajo un poco de confusión. So Jesus came with confidence. Porque aún Cristo vino con esa confianza. It didn't look like it to other people. A otros no lo aparentía, no lo aparentaba. Because here Jesus comes. Porque aquí llega Jesús. Riding a donkey. Montado en un burrito. Now, now. Now they were expecting Ellos estaban esperando for Jesus to come in like Aladdin about to ask Jasmine to marry you. You, you remember that, that scene in Aladdin? The elephants and the, and the camels. They were expecting Jesus, Prince Ali. Da, 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 da. He would, they were waiting for that type of entrance. Ellos esperaban que Jesús entrara así como la película de Disney de Aladdin con un caballo blanco y elefantes y todo eso con trompetas. Eso era lo que ellos esperaban. Jesus came riding a donkey. Pero Jesús llegó montado en un burrito. It seems weird for a king to ride a donkey. Se, se ve, se siente un poco raro que un rey esté montado en un burrito. Especially during the heading of this chapter, the Espe triumphal entry. Especialmente eh, como está titulado eh, este capítulo, la, la entrada eh, gloriosa, triunfante. What, what, what's so triumphant about this entry? ¿Qué es tan triunfante de esa entrada en un burrito? Looking at that donkey like, wow. Mirando ese burrito así. That's what they saw. That's what they was like, wow, okay. Eso fue lo que ellos vieron. People were expecting him to come in a white stallion. Ellos esperaron ent verlo entrar con un caballo grande blanco. With soldiers before and behind him. Con soldados adelante y detrás de él. People were not expecting a donkey. Las personas, la gente no esperaba ver un burrito. Interestingly enough, donkeys represented uh, an animal of meekness and humility. Interesantemente, el burro representaba un animal de humildad. A horse represents war. Un caballo representa guerra. Donkeys are not too extravagant at all. Los burritos no son muy extravagantes. And Jesus, the King of Kings, y Jesús, el Rey de Reyes, he chose to demonstrate his humility by riding on a humble beast of burden. Escogió demostrar su humildad con entrar 
en este animal humilde de un burrito. If you, if you look at the Old Testament, Jesus was not the only king that came in riding a donkey. Si vemos el Antiguo Testamento, Jesús no fue el único rey que entró eh, montado en un burrito. But the wisest man in the world, King Solomon. Pero el hombre más sabio del mundo, Rey Salomón. The son of King David. El hijo de Rey David. The richest man in the world. El más rico hombre del mundo. The wisest man in the world. El más sabio hombre del mundo. On the day of him becoming king, el he día, himself came riding on a donkey. El día que él lo coronaron rey, él entró montado en un burrito. It was not just a sign of humility that Jesus did this for. It was a prophetic sign that Jesus did this. No simplemente lo hizo esto para ser humilde, sino era también una señal profética la cual él hizo esto. Fulfilling the prophetic word found in the book of Zechariah. Cumpliendo la palabra profética que fue encontrada en el libro de Zacarías. Chapter 9, capítulo 9, verse 9, versículo 9. Rejoice greatly, daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lonely and riding on a donkey and a colt, the fowl of a donkey. Dice Zacarías 9.9, alégrate mucho, hija de Sion, grita de alegría, hija de Jerusalén. Mira, tu rey viene hacia ti, justo, victorioso y humilde, viene montado en un burro y en un burrito, cría de asna. Here's the crowds that come and begins to cheer him and throws palms on the ground and shouts Hosanna. Oye, la multitud que viene y tira los ramos ante él, gritando Hosanna. They were not shouting Hosanna, praising and cheering for him. No estaban gritando Hosanna, alabándolo a él. Not because they recognized him as a savior from their sin. No porque lo reconocían a él como salvador de sus pecados. But they were celebrating and welcoming him out of the desire of them receiving a messianic deliverer. Pero por, lo celebraron porque estaban pre, eh, esperando un, el, el Mesías que lo iba a rescatar y lo iba a liberar. They desired a leader that conquered them from the grips of Rome. Deseaban un líder que lo iba a soltar del agarre de Roma. But when they found out that he was not going to do what they expected, they quickly turned on him. Pero cuando de una vez se dieron cuenta que eso no era lo que iba a hacer, de una vez se voltearon de él Can en you, contra de él. Did you ever ask the question, where were all of the people that Jesus did miracles with on the cross? Usted se ha preguntado, ¿dónde estaban todas esas personas que Jesús le hizo milagros mientras él estaba en la cruz? ¿Dónde estaban todos los sordos, todos los ciegos, todos los cojos que fueron sanados por su ministerio? ¿Dónde estaban los 5,000 hombres que vieron a turn dos fish y cinco loaves en food galore? ¿Dónde estaban los 5,000 hombres que lo vieron tomar eh, dos peces y un pan y convertir eso en, com en comida para todo el mundo? We would see in seven days Vimos en siete, o vemos en siete días. That everyone today that hailed him as king were crying out, crucify him. Que lo que en ese tiempo le gritaban como rey, entonces en la cruz gritaban, crucifícalo. Our king, follow me now. Nuestro rey, sígame ahora. Came as a servant. Vino como un servidor. He did not ride this steed, this horse. He, 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 he did not wear royal robes. Él vino, no vino montado en caballo y no vino con vestidura real. He didn't have a scepter in his hand. No tenía eh, eh, un sepulcro en su mano así. He, he did not have a, a, a crown on his head. No tenía corona en su cabeza. He did not have a velvet cape draped on his back. No tenía eh, eh, un, un, un vestidura así como de rey glorioso. He did not have gold jewelry laid at his feet. No tenía eh, joyas de, de, de oro a, a sus pies. But our Savior was a humble man. Pero nuestro Salvador era un hombre humilde. If you looked at him, he didn't look different than anybody else. Si lo miraban a él, no se vería diferente a, a cualquier otra persona. Looks can be deceiving, uh, can't they? La apariencia puede ser un poco eh, engañosa. G Jesus came not to conquer by force all of these earthly kings, no. Jesús no vino a conquistar con fuerza a estos reyes de la humanidad. But Jesus came with love. Pero Jesús vino con amor. He came with mercy. Con misericordia. He came with grace. Con gracia. He came as his own sacrifice. Vino como su propio sacrificio. For his people. Para su pueblo. He is not a kingdom of armies. No es un reino de ejército. And riches. O de, de riqueza. But he was a kingdom of humility. Pero un reino de humildad. And servanthood. Y de servicio. He did not come to conquer nations. He came to conquer 
our hearts. No vino a conquistar naciones, vino a conquistar nuestros corazones. Are you here? Somebody say amen. Están aquí, alguien diga amen. He did not just make a triumphal entry into the gates of Jerusalem, but he came and made a triumphal entry into the hearts of men. No vino a hacer una entrada triunfante a Jerusalén, sino que vino a hacer una entrada triunfante a los corazones de los hombres. And Mark chapter 11 verse 2. Y Marcos capítulo 11 versículo 2. Now I try to do this as quick but as concise as possible. Y quiero hacer esto lo más eh, rápido y conciso posible. This word is preached by preachers all over the world forever. Esta palabra es predicada por predicadores en todo el mundo. But I, I wanted to ask the Lord, what is it that we can pull out that will bless the fountain today? Pero pedí al Señor que qué podemos sacar de aquí para bendecir la fuente hoy. And I want to give you four points of what I saw uh, that Jesus did when it came to what he did with this donkey, how he rode this donkey. Y quiero darles cuatro puntos en lo cual él hizo, cumplió con este burrito. Go with me to Mark chapter 11, verse 2. Vamos a Marcos, capítulo 11. The Bible says that Jesus said to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and you'll find a donkey tied there. Untie it and bring it to me. Dice Marcos, capítulo 11, que Jesús le mandó diciendo, Vayan a la aldea que tienen enfrente. Tan pronto como entren en ella, encontrarán un atado, un burrito, Tráigamelo a mí. If, if anyone asks you what are you doing, just say that Jesus needs it. Si alguien te pregunta, le pregunta, ¿qué estás haciendo? Díganle simplemente, Jesús lo necesita. Here's the first point. Aquí está el primer punto. Jesus, Jesús, made a reservation. Hizo una reservación. He, he did not just tell his disciples. Él simplemente no le dijo a los discípulos. To go steal a donkey. Que vayan a robarse un burrito. Uh, no, no, he, he made He made a reservation Él hizo una reservación for what was needed. Para lo que era he says, I want you to go to that village. Yo quiero que vayan allá. And he says, when you get there, you're going to find a donkey. Y cuando lleguen allá, van a encontrar un burrito. I know it sounds simple, Yo sé que suena sensible, but I'm so thankful pero estoy agradecido that Jesus, que Jesús, he's a God that, that takes care of it beforehand. Es un Dios que él prepara las cosas de antemano. Ah, uh, Lord, if you're a preacher, you can follow where I'm going today. Si usted predica, o sea, predica, o sea, o sea, me está siguiendo a donde vamos hoy. Can you encourage your neighbor? Anime a su vecino. And say, neighbor, y dígale, vecino, Jesus already handled it. Jesús ya lo tiene todo apostado. I'll tell your other neighbor, neighbor, dile a tu otro vecino, vecino, Jesus already took care of it. Jesús ya lo resolvió. Because we serve a proactive God. Porque servimos a un Dios que es proactivo. And a proactive God y un Dios proactivo is a God that doesn't wait for something to happen. Es un Dios que no espera que pase algo. But we serve a God servimos a un Dios that even before it happens, que aun antes de que pase, he already took care of it. Él ya lo resolvió. I give you Bible. Yo te doy Biblia. Because my Bible tells me, porque mi Biblia me dice a mí, that our minds que nuestra mente are not like God's mind. No es como la mente de Dios. Because His mind says, Porque la mente del dice, whatever you are starting in, lo que tú estás comenzando, I'm already done with. Ya yo lo he acabado. Because the Bible says, Porque la Biblia dice, I see the end yo veo el final from the beginning. Desde el principio, that when we are in our storm, que cuando nosotros estamos en nuestra tormenta, and we're crying to God in our storm, y gritándole a Dios en nuestra tormenta, God is in the other side, Dios está del otro lado, saying you're in the storm, diciendo tú estás en la tormenta, But I'm in a place of peace Pero yo soy un lugar de paz. because I am the Prince of Peace. Yo soy el de paz. So that gives us blessed assurance Eso nos da una that bendecida. there's nothing, que no hay nada. there is nothing no hay nada. that catches God by surprise. Que a Dios por He knows all things. Él sabe todas las cosas. We serve a God un Dios that has already taken care of it. Que ya lo ha uh, he doesn't wait to supply our needs. He already supplied it. And that's why we must walk by faith. Are you here today? See, see, God, God, God is a proactive God that does not wait to supply your need in the moment of your need. Here's something that can blow your mind. God already 
already has the answer before you even knew there was a question. Dios ya tiene la respuesta antes de que tú ni sepas que hay una pregunta. Can I say something else? Puedo decir otra cosa más. God already supplied your need before you even walked into the need itself. Dios ya proveyó tu necesidad aún de tu entrar en la necesidad. That's why Por eso es by faith por fe we don't have to worry. No tenemos que preocuparnos because God has the last word. Porque Dios tiene la última palabra. Don't you think God knew about the hell that you were going through before you even went through it? Tú no crees que Dios sabía el infierno que ibas a pasar antes de que tú lo pasara? He said before you get stuck I've already made a way of escape. I've made a reservation. Dice antes que tú quedes estancado ya yo hice una reservación para sacarte. Don't you think that God knew about your financial situation? No crees que sabe Dios ya sabía de tu situación financiera? Don't you know don't you think that God knew about those people that were coming against your character? No crees que Dios ya sabía de esa persona que venían contra tu carácter? Can I be real with some of y'all? Puedo ser real con ustedes? Don't you know that God knew that you were about to lose that job? God already has the next job in store for you. Just wait and see that God already made a reservation. No crees que Dios sabía que tú ibas a perder ese trabajo? Él ya tiene otro yeah. preparado para ti. Él hizo una reservación. Can I, can I do this? Can I do this? Well, 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 well here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, it's easier said than done. Es más fácil decirlo que hacerlo. Because there's times in our lives that we are in the hallways of hell. Porque estamos, hay tiempos en la vida que estamos en los pasillos del infierno. What, you know how I heard people say, the Lord will never close a door without opening up another door. He oído personas decir, Dios nunca se cierra una puerta sin primero abrir otra. I beg to differ. Pero yo no estoy muy de acuerdo con Because eso. Because if you live long enough, porque si usted ha vivido lo suficiente, the reality is, la realidad es, that God has closed some doors. Que Dios ha cerrado puertas. And we turn around, we're like, y nos volteamos y quedamos. All right, God. Okay, señor. I'm, I'm waiting for this door to open. You close this door. Estoy esperando que abra esta puerta, pues ya cerraste esta. Let, let me keep praising you. Déjame seguir alabándote. Uh, but I'm waiting for the door to open. Pero estoy esperando que esta puerta se abra. Well, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? When God closes the door. Cuando Dios cierra esta puerta. And you're waiting for the next door to open. Y está esperando que se abra la otra. But it's not open yet. Pero no está abierta todavía. Here's point number one. Aquí está punto número uno. God won't open up another door. Dios no va a abrir otra puerta. Because he wants to see your faith porque quiere ver tu fidelidad when the doors are closed. cuando las puertas están Can cerradas. You keep Puedes seguir orando when the doors are closed. cuando las puertas están cerradas. Can you keep worshiping? Puedes seguir adorando oh, I'm preaching better than you're hollering back oh, estoy at predicando me. más que lo que ustedes están when respondiendo the doors are closed. cuando las puertas están cerradas. Can you keep, can you trust God Puedes confiar en Dios in the hallways of life. en los pasillos de la vida And God is saying, y Dios te dice I'm not, I'm not keeping the door closed no estoy manteniendo la puerta cerrada to watch you die. para ver Morir, I'm keeping the door closed la tengo to test your heart because it is our loyalty es nuestra le, le, nuestra, eh, and our trust y nuestra confianza unto the Lord hacia el Señor that is on display que está siendo probada when you are stuck in the hallway just because simplemente what, 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 what happened what happened here what happened here okay it was it was a, what day was that They told me to go to a restaurant. Me dijeron que fueran a un restaurant. Oh yes, yes. Uh, we went to Sight and Sound on Thursday. Fuimos a Sight and Sound en Pensilvania el jueves. I went with a group of pastors and the, and the mayor. Fui con el, el mayordomo, el alcalde y con unos hombres. And uh, we went to see Daniel. Y fuimos a ver el, el teatro de Daniel. It was powerful. Fue poderoso. Afterwards we went to a buffet. Después de eso fuimos a comer al buffet. We drove up to the buffet. Fuimos manejando al buffet. And the mayor came back and said to the pastors. Y el alcalde vino y le dijo a los pastores. Uh, We made a reservation, Hicimos una reservación, but we came in an hour too early. Pero llegamos una hora muy temprano, and now we gotta wait. Y ahora tenemos que esperar. Everybody's like, oh. Todo el mundo se quejó. Oh. So the mayor just started talking about all of the things that are happening in the city. El alcalde comenzó a comenzar de todo lo, a hablar de todo lo que está pasando en la ciudad. And everybody's like, hey man. Y todo el mundo está diciendo, amén, y lo estómago dando grito. And I got to thinking just now. Y así, ahora mismo pensé. They made the reservation. Hicieron la reservación. It was ours. Era de nosotros. But we were too early. Pero llegamos muy temprano. And we still had to wait. Y todavía tuvimos que esperar. Maybe there's somebody here today. Tal vez hay alguien aquí hoy. That God spoke to you. Que Dios te habló. And said, I have peace for you. Y dijo, tengo paz para ti. 
para ti. I have power for you. Tengo poder para ti. I have joy for you. Tengo gozo para I've ti. made a reservation. Hice una reservación. But, but, but you have to understand. Pero tienes que entender. It's not in your timing. No es en tu tiempo. It's in God's timing. Es en el tiempo de and Dios. if you could just learn how to wait on God. Y si podemos aprender a esperar I en don't Dios, know who I'm speaking to no today. Sé a quién le estoy hablando hoy. But I came to speak life over someone that has ears to hear. A dar vida sobre alguien que escucha, que escucha Not hoy. Neighbor say neighbor. Dile a tu vecino, vecino. It's yours. Es tuya. It's reserved. Es reservada. But you gotta learn how to wait. Pero tienes que esperar, aprender a esperar. Learn, learn, learn how to wait. Just wait. Aprende a Just esperar. Wait. Just because you're waiting doesn't mean that God forgot about you. Simplemente porque estás esperando no significa que Dios se olvidó de ti. It's already taken care of. Ya está resuelto. For I know the plans that I have for you. Porque yo sé los planes Ooh. que yo tengo para ti. Thus saith the Lord. Así dice el Señor. I know the plans that I I made reservations for you. I've prepared for you. I've organized it for you. I have it set up for you. But just wait on the Lord. Yo he resuelto esto para ti. Tengo reservación. Lo tengo reservado. Pero I tienes know. que esperar en el Señor. I know the oh Lord, if you could, if you, I can just hear the Lord whispering in my ear, tell them this, just tell them this. Yo oigo al Señor decirme en el, en el oído, dile esto, simplemente dile esto. If you can see what God has for you. Si tú puedes ver lo que Dios tiene para ti. He says, I go before you and I go and make mansions for you. I'm preparing a place for you. Dice, voy ante de ti, estoy preparando mansiones y lugar para ti. Psalms 23 is a very famous scripture. Salmo 23, una escritura bien famosa. He says, I'm reserving a table for you. Dice, tengo una mesa Woo! reservada para I'm ti. I'm preparing a table for you. Tengo una mesa preparada in the presence of your enemies. En la presencia de tus enemigos. Look at your neighbor and say, God reserved this. Mira a tu vecino y dile, Dios ya lo reservó. Because he knows the end from the beginning. Porque él sabe el principio al final. That before you even needed a thing, he has already taken care of that. Que antes de que tú necesites de una cosa, él ya lo ha resolvido. Look at your neighbor and say, trust him. Mira tu vecino y dile, confía en I él. I know you don't like it. I know you don't Yo like it. Yo sé que no te gusta. I know it's nasty. Yo sé que es difícil. I know it's hard. Yo sé que es duro. But trust him. Pero confía en él. Here's, here's point number two. Aquí está punto número dos. Point number two. Punto dos. Is that Jesus knew the restrictions. Es que Jesús sabía las restricciones. He made a reservation. Él hizo reservación. Jesus knew Jesús the restrictions. sabía las restricciones. Why do I say that? ¿Por qué digo esto? He said, when you go get the donkey that I've reserved, you're going to notice that this donkey is tied down. Porque dice, cuando vayan y encuentren el burrito, van a fijarse que el burrito va a estar atado. Can I preach this today? ¿Puedo predicar esto hoy? He, he knew that, that, that this donkey, you're going to see this donkey, and this donkey is going to be restricted from its mobility. It's not going to be able to have any flexibility. Van a ver este burrito. El burrito va a estar restringido. No va a tener movilidad. Va a estar restringido ahí. This, this donkey is not able to move with freedom. Este burrito no se puede mover con libertad. Because this donkey is tied down. Porque este burrito está atado. This donkey has limited space. Este burrito tiene espacio limitado. This donkey couldn't go, but 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 so but so far. El, el burrito simplemente no podía llegar tan lejos. Surrounded by the same issues. Arrodeado de las mismas de las mismas situaciones. Couldn't go far without being choked out. No podía llegar lejos sin primero ser asfixiado, agarrado, jalado. I promise you, I'm not trying to use, I'm not trying to compare us to a donkey. Eh, le prometo que no, no, no estoy comparando a, al burrito. But maybe I am comparing us to a donkey. Notice that I say us. Pero tal vez, <laughs> no, no, estoy sí, eh, estoy comparando a nosotros, I al love, burrito. I love preaching. Me encanta el predicar. You, you, you can't get away with that anywhere else. Like, let me tell you something. En you're en you're en a little bit like a donkey. En ningún otro lado <laughs> le puede decir a alguien, tú eres como un burrito. I'm not paying for your meal after that. <laughs> no voy a pagar por tu lonche después de eso. But But maybe we are like a donkey. Pero tal vez sí somos un poco como un burrito. Just like this donkey was tied. Porque así como este burrito estaba atado. Let me say it like this. Have you ever felt restricted? Eh, déjame preguntarle así. ¿Ha usted una vez sentido restringido? Have you ever felt tied 
down. ¿Te has sentido atado a algo? You know the Bible says that we're tied down. Sabe que la Biblia dice que nosotros sí somos atados. You don't have Jesus in your heart. Si tú no tienes a Jesús en tu corazón, sin does a good job of tying you down. El pecado te tiene a ti atado. Sin will restrict you from freedom in God. El pecado te restringe en la libertad en Cristo. Let me give you some Bible. Déjame darme un poco de Biblia. Go with me to Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. Vamos a Hebreos capítulo 12 versículo 1. Watch what the Bible says. Mira lo que dice la Biblia. About how this donkey was tied how the, what does this have to do with me de como este burro estaba atado pero que tiene que ver eso conmigo therefore we also since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses hear this let us lay aside every here's the restriction every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us or another translation says or traps and limits us and let us run With endurance, the race that is set before us. Dice Hebreos 12.1, por tanto también nosotros que estamos rodeados de una nube tan grande de testigos, despojémonos de todo, y aquí está la restricción, de todo peso y del pecado que nos asedia y corramos con perseverancia la carrera que tenemos por delante. What is sin like? ¿Cómo es el pecado? Sin is like a weight. El pecado es como un, un peso. Sin will keep you longer Then you want it to stay. El pecado te tiene ahí mantenido más largo tiempo de lo que tú te quieres quedar. Sin has a way of creeping up and choking you and holding you down. El pecado tiene una manera de entrar y de agarrarte y de asfixiarte y de atarte para abajo. And Hebrews says here, I want you to take that weight and lay it aside. Give it to God. God is able to cut off the ropes that has been holding you and restricting you. Y aquí vemos en Hebreos que dice que debemos de despojarnos de eso. Dios tiene y puede cortar esas cadenas, esas sogas que nos tienen atado. That's my prayer as the pastor of this house. Esta es mi oración como pastor de esta casa. That every time you come to the fountain, cada vez que usted llega a la fuente, you'll see the love of God just flow. Que veas el amor de Dios que fluye. There's no restrictions in the flow of God. No hay restricciones en el fluir de that Dios. That you might be coming into the parking lot with ropes and, and things that, that are holding you just like that donkey, but when you come into the house of God, there's freedom to flow in thanksgiving and in worship unto the Lord. Que tal vez cuando entres al parqueo y vengas, vas a sentir cadenas y restricciones, pero cuando entres aquí a la casa, vas a sentir esa libertad y esa suelta y vas a poder alabar al Señor. And as I'm saying this, y mientras lo digo, some of your hearts are trembling within you. Algunos de sus corazones están temblando ahora mismo. Because inside of you, you say, adentro, I want to be free. Adentro usted dice, yo quiero ser libre. I'm tired of being held down. I'm tired of having fear hold me and, and hate hold me and unforgiveness hold me. Estoy cansado de tener el odio que me, me tiene atado, el miedo que me tiene atado, el temor el, 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 que me tiene atado y amarrado. Galatians chapter 5 and 1 says this clearly. Galatas capítulo 5 verso 1 dice esto claramente. For freedom Christ has set us free. Dice Cristo nos libertó para que vivamos en libertad. There, you shouldn't be a depressed Christian. No debemos de ser cristianos deprimidos. I'm Christian now. Yo soy cristiano ahora. So I guess I'm just never going to have fun again. Entonces creo que nunca voy a poder gozarme otra vez. I'm Christian now. Soy cristiano ahora. So I can't, I can't drink alcoholic beverages. No puedo beber bebidas alcohólicas. And I can't smoke. Y no puedo fumar. And I can't get high no more. Y no puedo fumar otra cosa. I can't, I can't, I can't indulge in these activities that, that, that satisfied my fleshly desires. No puedo eh, 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 involucrarme en estas actividades que satisfacían mi carne. I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't do the other. No puedo hacer esto, no puedo hacer lo otro, no puedo hacer esto. I apologize. Yo les pido perdón. On behalf of the people that taught you the wrong way. De parte de las personas que le enseñaron mal a usted. Because it's as if the moment you gave your life to Jesus, someone said, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, and it's true, but that's not the totality of the gospel. Porque cuando usted entregó su vida a Cristo, alguien le dijo, ya no puede hacer esto, no puede hacer esto, no puede hacer esto, y es verdad, pero eso no es la totalidad del evangelio. Because my eyes are only attached to the things that I cannot do that's a depressive type of life porque mis ojos solamente se fijan en la cosa que no puedo hacer eso es una vida deprimida but look at what I can do pero miremos lo que sí puedo hacer I, 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 look at what God gives me mira lo que Dios me da 
Because even when you were in the club bumping and grinding, you still felt that weight the next morning. Porque aun cuando estabas en la discoteca bailando, en la mañana sentías ese mismo peso. Even when you were chasing the high, you would never be able to get high enough. Cuando llegabas y querías levantarte y fumarte algo que te levantara, nunca llegabas a levantarte lo suficiente. Even with your promiscuous lifestyle, you were never able to find a love that you can only receive through the Father. Aún buscando amor en otros lugares, nunca encontraste el amor que solamente llega del Padre. So it's not nothing that the world that can offer me. Lord, if you're untying me, let me see what I have access to. I have peace now. Ahora, Señor, si me, déjame fijarme en lo wow. que me, me sueltas. Ahora sí tengo paz ahora. You know how valuable peace is today? Usted sabe lo valorable que es la paz hoy. You know how many people are chasing after peace and can't find it? ¿Sabe cuántas personas están buscando paz y no la encuentran? You can't find peace in, in the at the end of that bottle. You can't find peace with that person. You can't find peace with what the world has to offer, but you will find peace in the person of Jesus Christ. No encuentran oh, pe- paz al final de una botella, paz con otra persona, pero sí encontrar pura paz en el, la persona del Señor Jesucristo. Not, not your neighbor, not your neighbor. Say, I got some peace. I got peace. Diga a su vecino, diga, tengo paz. Tengo I got peace that don't even make sense. Tengo paz que ni tiene sentido. I got peace in the middle of the storm that almost killed you. I'm still smiling. I'm still singing because I know that God made a way tengo when there paz. was no way. Tengo Woo! paz aún en medio de la tormenta que tú pasaste porque Dios hizo un camino donde no había camino. Man, he made a way. Hizo un camino. Where it, came, where it seemed like there was no other way. Cuando se aparentaba que no había otro camino. Let me ask you. Déjeme preguntarle. What's tying you down? ¿Qué lo tiene atado a usted? Sometimes I secretly build my messages by asking people questions. A veces yo secretamente escribo mis mensajes con hacerle preguntas a la persona. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not asking people questions so I can use your life in the message that I'm preaching. I'm not that type of guy. No estoy haciendo preguntas para usar eh, eh, ejemplos de su vida en los mensajes que yo doy. No soy ese tipo de persona. Though sometimes the word of God is so specific that I've had people bust out the room and the ushers reaching out to them say, why are you leaving? Because the pastor's talking about me. Have you ever met the pastor? No. So how is he talking about you? And she just came back and sat down in the church service and heard the rest of the word. Aún hay veces que la palabra del Señor es tan específica que yo predicando y hay personas que se paran y, y salen y los sugieres se siguen, persiguen, y dicen, ¿a dónde vas? Y dice, me voy porque el, el pastor está hablando de mí. Y dicen, ¿tú conoces al pastor? Y dice, no. Mm. Y vienen y se sientan. It's only God, it's only God that can speak that clear. Solamente Dios puede hablar tan claramente. Last weekend I was uh, with in another church and I just started asking people casually, um, what, what, what did the Lord free you from? What, 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 what tied you down? El, la semana antepasada estaba en una iglesia y comencé a hacerle preguntas a los hermanos y casualmente preguntándole ¿de qué te liberó el Señor? ¿de qué, qué te tenía a ti atado? Here's some of the responses I got from the people. Aquí fueron algunas de las respuestas que me dieron. One person said, what tied me down was addiction. Una persona dijo, la adicción me tenía atado. The Lord broke that off of me. El Señor quebrantó eso de mí. Some people don't like talking about addiction. La pers- hay personas que no les gusta hablar de la adicción. Number one, maybe because they're embarrassed. Tal vez porque tienen vergüenza. Or maybe because you're still dealing with the addiction. O tal vez porque aún todavía están eh, batallando contra la adicción. But God's dealing with you. God, God got you. Pero Dios te tiene. You're further now than you were before. Estás más lejos ahora de lo que estabas antes, más Another cerca. person said, Pastor, what, what, what tied me down is unforgiveness. Uh, entre, eh, otra persona me dijo, lo que me tenía atado era el no poder perdonar. I just could not forgive no podía perdonar what they did to me. Lo que me hicieron a mí. Until they realized hasta que realizaron that forgiving them is not setting them free, it's setting you free. Que el perdonarlos a ellos no lo libera a ellos, sino te libera a ti. Because unforgiveness is like holding on to a rope. Porque el no poder perdonar es como aguantar una soga. And the tighter you pull the rope, the more it cuts off your own circulation. Y mientras más apretado tú agarres esa soga, más corta la circulación tuya. Forgiveness is nothing to do with our own strength. Forgiveness is supernatural. La perdi- el perdón no se trata de nuestra fuerza. El perdón es algo sobrenatural. Is releasing yourself from being a slave to what they have done to you. Es soltarte a ti de ser eh, esclavo de lo que ellos te hicieron a ti. Another person said, uh, Pastor, I- I'm tied down by, by, by fear. 
Otra persona dijo, el temor, el miedo me tiene a mí, me tenía atado. And the one said, I'm, I'm tied down, my anger ties me down, I just get angry and it just comes out of me and, and it messes up my marriage, it, it messes up my relationship with my children, it messes up my employment, I just get so angry and I can't control it. Otra persona dijo, el enojo me tiene atado y afecta mi matrimonio, mi trabajo, mi relación con mis hijos, todo. Until that peace hasta que esa paz flooded over me like a waterfall. Cayó sobre mí como agua. When I couldn't control myself, God came and held me until I broke. Cuando ya no podía controlarme más, vino el Señor y me agarró y me abrazó hasta que me quebrantó. I like this one, this one. Me gustó mucho this este. This person said, Pastor, la persona me dijo, Pastor, what tied me down lo que me tenía a mí atado was legalism. Era la legalidad. I said, Lord Jesus, that's a conversation. Dije, Señor, esto es una conversación. Because I was so into the legalities of my church and who I thought God was that I missed who he really was. Porque estaba tan metido en el legalismo de la iglesia eh, que no me fijé en quién era Dios. Now, legality is not order. Ahora, el, el legalismo no es orden. Because every church has its order. Porque cada iglesia tiene su orden. Every church has their, has their uh, can and cannot do. Cada iglesia tiene lo que pueden o no pueden hacer. What is permitted and what is not. We lo got que this. es permitido y lo que no es permitido. But this person said, legality held me from knowing who he was. Pero esta persona dijo que el legalismo, la legalidad, me aguantaba de conocer de quién Dios era. If I could just do this better, si yo puedo hacer esto mejor, if I could just serve more, si puedo servir más, if I could just preach better, si pudiera predicar mejor, and that's a slave to yourself, y eso es ser esclavo de sí mismo. Because one day you can be great and another day you can drop the ball a million miles off of the target. Porque un día puede ser hacer un buen trabajo y otro día puede fallar el marco por un millón de millas. And if they messed up, y si hacen un error, they thought that God let them go and they had to build this whole thing all over again just to receive the love of God. Pensaban que Dios se había olvidado de ellos y tenían que comenzar esto otra vez de nuevo para recibir el amor de Dios. Until they found out hasta que se dieron cuenta that God loves me in my good, in my bad, and in my ugly. Que Dios me ama a mí en lo bueno, en lo malo, y en lo feo. And God's love y el amor de Dios does not change no cambia by the behavior and the activity that I can give unto him. Por mi comportamiento, lo que yo hago hacia él. Now, I wish I had the time to even talk. I think I'll just open up a can of worms with this one. Quisiera tener el tiempo para entrar aún más profundo en esto. But let me just paint with a broad brush here. Pero déjame pintar bien eh, generalmente aquí. Say, I don't care what my kids ever did. No me importa lo que mis hijos habían, hagan hecho. They're still my children. Aún seguirán siendo mis hijos. And I will still love them. Y aún los seguiré amando. Now, now if they do something crazy, they're going to suffer the consequences. Ahora si hacen algo loco, van a sufrir las la coincidencia, but it doesn't la change the fact that I still love them. Pero no cambia la verdad que ya aún yo le les amo. Here's the last one here. Aquí está la última. Say, Pastor, what, what restricted me, Pastor, lo que a mí me tenía atado, what tied me down, lo que me tenía amarrado, is unbelief es la incredulidad and a pastor told me that. y un pastor me dijo eso a mí said, I I said, y el pastor me dijo a veces aún tengo eh, incredulidad y yo me quedé así y Dios me dijo calla la boca porque tú sabes que tú también pasas por lo mismo said, me too, bro, me too, you know. y yo le dije yo también mi hermano yo también <laughs> Don't let this thing fool you. No dejen que esto le engañe. We can all struggle, man. Todos batallamos. I don't want to act like I got this all together. Act like, look at me, your pastor. No quiero actuar como que yo lo tengo todo compuesto. Mírenme a mí, yo soy su pastor. We all deal with these things. Todos estamos pasando por algo. And there's no Superman, Superwoman, or Wonder Woman here today. We, we all have our eyes on him. Y no hay superhombre ni mujer maravilla aquí. Todos tenemos la vista puesta en él. Can I preach to you happy again? Puedo predicarle contento otra vez. Again, all calm now, everybody. Ahora están tan calmados. Let's lift it up. Let me ask you a question. Déjeme hacer una pregunta. Anybody here has ever been set free by God's grace? Alguien aquí ha sido liberado por la gracia de Dios. 
Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Amen. Is there anyone here that has ever experienced God just turn it around for you? Hay alguien aquí que ha experimentado a Dios que lo ha volteado para usted. Has he ever come to your rescue and just cut the ties that has been holding you down? Thank you for freeing me. Ha llegado a su rescate y ha cortado la soga que la tenía atado. Gracias, Señor, por liberarme. If it had not been for the Lord, si no hubiera sido por el Señor, where would we be? Donde estuviéramos. If it had not been for the Lord that set me free. Matter of fact, that's why I preach the way I do. Por eso que yo predico de la manera que predico. That's why we worship the way we worship. Por eso adoramos de la manera que adoramos. That's why we serve the way we serve. Por eso servimos como servimos. That's why there is intensity in our testimony. Por eso que hay intensidad en nuestro testimonio. That's why I praise Him Por eso with que power. Alabo con poder. Because you don't know what God has done in my life. Porque tú no sabes lo que Dios ha hecho en mi vida. Look at your neighbor and say, I got a testimony. Mira a tu vecino y dile tengo un testimonio the Lord one day saved me from my sin. que el Señor me salvó un día de mis pecados I was on my way to hell. Iba, estaba en camino para el infierno thank be to God pero gracias sea al Señor that he found me. que me encontró he chased me. me persiguió he washed me. me lavó he cut the ties. por todo lo que me tenía And atado he freed me. y me libertó thank God for freedom. gracias a Dios por la libertad Because I was blind. porque era ciego But now I see. Pero ahora veo. I was stuck. Estaba estancado. And now I'm free. Y ahora estoy libre. Look at your neighbor and say, Are you free today? Mira a tu vecino y dile, Estás libre hoy. Are you free today? Estás libre hoy. I love that old song that says, I thank God me that Jesus esta canción, set me free. Esta canción que decía, doy gracias a Dios que me libertó. I thank God. Me doy gracias a Dios that Jesus set me free. Que Jesús me libertó. I thank God. Me doy gracias a Dios that Jesus set me que free. Jesús me libertó. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Emashaya. He set me free. Me libertó. Rota fueron las cadenas. Broken were the chains. Jesús me liberó. Jesus set me free. Oh, I hear chains breaking today. Yo oigo cadenas que se rompen hoy. Emashata baseke emashaya. I hear chains falling today. Yo oigo cadenas que se caen hoy. Because we serve a chain breaking God. Porque servimos un Dios que rompe cadenas. Some of y'all think this is still cute, but I need some people to prophesy with me. Lord, set them free today. Señor, libéralos hoy, Señor. Set them free from what blinded them. Libera los señor de lo que los tiene ciegos. Set them free from fear and from anger. Libera los señor del miedo y del enojo. There's some people that have been set free. Hay personas que han sido liberadas. And what I need you to do right now. Y lo que necesito que hagan ahora. For all those that have been set free, I want to get you. I want you to get connected to those that are still trying to seek to be free. Lo que han sido liberado quiero que se conecten con lo que están buscando ser liberados. Because when my freedom. Porque cuando mi libertad. Finds you bound. Te encuentra a ti atado. My freedom. Mi libertad. Begins to pull you out. Comienza a jalarte. From what bounds you down. De lo que te tenía atado a ti. The Jesus in me. El Jesús en mí. Sees the Jesus in you. Ve el Jesús en ti. And it's going to be a powerful experience. Y va a ser una experiencia poderosa. It's not just through a preaching. No es simplemente a través de una predicación. It's not just through your pastor. No es simplemente a través de tu pastor. But the Jesus in you. El Jesús en ti. Will connect with those that are still tied down. Se conecta con los que todavía están atados. I want you to look at your neighbor. Mira a tu vecino. And say neighbor. Y dile vecino. I'm a freedom setter. I'm yo a soy, freedom setter. Yo puedo liberar aquí. Yo soy el que ayuda a liberar. If the Lord did it for me, si el Señor lo hizo conmigo, he's able to do it for you. Él lo puede hacer contigo. Is there anybody here today? Hay alguien aquí hoy that has been set free que ha sido liberado. that has been unbound que ha sido soltado. I wish I had somebody in Quisiera this place en esta casa to open up your que mouth abra su boca and say Lord y diga, Señor, if you did it for me si lo hiciste por mí, he's about to do it for you él lo va a hacer por ti. that's why I declare por eso declaro, in the name of Jesus en el nombre de Jesús, if you're set free si eres liberado, your whole family's about to be set free va a ser liberado. my children are coming out Mis hijos van a salir. my grandchildren children are coming out. Nietos van a salir. Pookie and them is coming out. Mi amigo van a salir. If you're connected to me, si estás conectado a mí, you're connected to glory. Estás conectado a gloria. Because I'm a carrier of God's Porque glory. Yo cargo la gloria de Dios. Somebody say yes. Alguien diga sí. Somebody say yes. Alguien diga sí. Somebody say yes. Alguien diga sí. 
I feel revival up in here. Yo siento el avivamiento aquí hoy. Lord, the devil's scared of what he, Lord, what's about to happen el on Easter está, up in here. El enemigo está asustado de lo que va a pasar aquí ahora. Jesus. Be seated. I'm almost done. I'm almost siéntese, done. Siéntese. Estoy I'm almost estoy done. Acabando. I haven't preached here for two weeks. So I got to get out of my system. <laughs> predicado por dos semanas. Tengo que soltarlo. I won't keep you too long. No voy a mantenerlo mucho tiempo. Give me ten more minutes. Deme diez minutos más. In the name of Jesus, please help me hold Jesus. that promise. Help me hold that promise. Ayúdame, Señor. <laughs> I got four points. I'm, a, I'm in my third one now. I won't stay here for too long. Here's the third point. Aquí está el tercer punto. Jesus, Jesús, made the request. Hizo la recuesta. Okay, what was the other, the other point? Jesus made a reservation. Los otros puntos eran y, y Jesús hizo una reservación. Jesus knew the restrictions. Jesús reconocía las restricciones. And Jesus made the request. Y Jesús hizo la recuesta, Amen. la petición. Okay. Amen. 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 They all thrown it at Amen. you. Right? Amen. <laughs> I was battling with the words because I wanted to focus on the word return. Eh, estaba enfocado para eh, enfocarme en la palabra de, de vuelta, recibir. And the idea volver. that the Lord gave me here was y la idea que Dios me dio era that Jesus did not just tell the disciples loose and free the donkey and let the donkey be free. Que Jesús no le dijo a los discípulos eh, buscar, soltar el, el burrito y dejarlo ir libre. He didn't just dismiss the donkey, he directed the donkey. Él no simplemente ah, soltó no, el burrito, Jesus. él directó, dirigió Jesus el burrito. Jesus is not just going to set you free so that you can be like tra la la. Jesús no te va a liberar para que tú siempre vayas y digas soy libre. No, no, no. Jesus the freedom in him. <laughs> Y'all pray for your pastor. The freedom in him. La libertad que encontramos en él. It's not just freedom to do whatever the heaven you want. No es libertad para tú hacer lo que te da la gana. But the freedom in him. Pero la libertad en él is to return to him. Es para volver a él. Jesus said, "Oh Lord, I felt that." Jesus said, "I'm setting you free from the world." Jesús dijo, "Te voy a liberar del mundo." But I'm going to arrest you in my presence. Pero te voy a arrestar en mi presencia. Can I do this today with y'all? Puedo hacerlo así con ustedes hoy. Because freedom, porque la libertad, with no purpose, sin propósito, is a wasted life. Es una pérdida de vida. Mm. Freedom, la libertad, with no purpose, sin propósito, is slavery within yourself. Es esclavitud en ti mismo. Can I give you a, pre, a, a good example? Puedo darle un ejemplo. Have you ever had a week off to do nothing? Has tenido una semana libre de no hacer que sin tener que hacer nada. And all you did, y solo lo que hiciste, was lay down, fue acostar, acostar, and watch Netflix, acostarte y mirar a Netflix. Until there was no more Netflix. Hasta que no había más Netflix. Netflix said there is no more movies Netflix in this dijo, archive. Ya no hay más película aquí. Have you ever laid in bed? Usted se ha acostado en la cama. So long. Tan largo. That your body started hurting? Que tu cuerpo comenzó a doler. Have you ever got tired of resting? Usted ha <laughs> llegado a ser cansado de estar descansando. Have you ever got, some people like, Pastor, I wish. Hay personas que, Pastor, yo quisiera. But have you ever laid in bed for so long that you got up and all you heard was this? A usted ha estado acotado por tanto tiempo que cuando se levanta, usted lo que oye los huesos craqueando. And, and, and have you ever done nothing? Oh, I, I'm a show nada for so long for tanto tiempo that you got depressed que se deprimieron. You know why my father's still pastoring? ¿Sabe por qué mi pastor sigue pastoreando? At about to be 80 years old. Y va a cumplir 80 años. Because he said, Porque él dice, if I'm sitting down doing nothing, si estoy sentado haciendo nada, I will die. Me muero. Ah, sometimes, a veces, the enemy, el enemigo, will try to give you a false freedom, te da una libertad falsa, and make you just become stagnant, y para que quedes ahí estancado, and dormant, y durmiendo. But what the Lord told me here, pero lo que el Señor me dijo, was that Jesus said que Jesús dijo, loose that donkey el burrito, and don't leave him there pero no lo deje ahí. bring him to me because mí. I need the donkey yo el Jesus says to you Jesús te dice a ti, I set you free yo te liberté, not so that you can simply be free no para que seas libre, but that's so that you can come running back to me pero para que vengas corriendo atrás a donde mí. Jesus is saying Jesús está diciendo, I set you free 
so that you can serve. I set you free so that you can sacrifice. I've set you free so that you can work in the kingdom. I wish I had somebody here. We don't serve no servimos to be set free. Para ser libres. We serve servimos because we have been set free. Porque hemos sido libres. And Liberados. my freedom y nuestra libertad allows me to worship him and I don't care what you think about me. Mi libertad me permite adorarle a él y no me importa lo que oh, crean de mí. Oh, my brother Carlos here has one of the most powerful amens in the church. Sister Emily in the back, I don't know if she's still there, she has one of the most powerful praises of the Lord. My sister Marisol that's not with us, SOA, one of the most powerful, My brother Carlos, amen! I don't care what you think about my praise. When I've been set free, when I've been set free, I praise the Lord with everything that I have. Oh my God in this house. I wish the fountain can catch this. There comes Carlos. There he comes. I wish somebody in this place can say I've been set free and I'll praise him until I have nothing left. I'll serve him until I have nothing left. I'll sacrifice until I have nothing. Until I have nothing. Until I have nothing. Lord, take my everything. Because when I was nothing, you gave me everything. Como no lo voy a adorar. Como Como no lo voy a glorificar. Como no lo voy a hacer. How am I not gonna do it? Come on, take 10 seconds to open up your mouth right there. Let heaven and earth hear you. Shout. Father, receive our praise. And receive our praise. Receive our worship. Woo! Woo! My God, I feel a shift in the house today. You know, you know, I love what Paul says. Me encanta lo que dijo Pablo. Paul opens up his letters to his churches. Pablo abre sus cartas a sus iglesias. And he oftentimes introduces himself not as I, Paul the Apostle, that wrote more than half of the New Testament. Y él no se presenta como yo, el apóstol Pablo, que escribí más de mitad del Nuevo Testamento. He opens up, if you notice, he opens up el, el abre y si and says, fijan, I, Paul, y dice, Yo, Pablo, a servant of Christ. Un siervo de Cristo. Specifically, he says, a bond servant. Específicamente, dice, un siervo en, encadenado. You know what a bond servant is? ¿Sabe lo que es un siervo encadenado? Be seated just for five more minutes. Por cinco minutos más. <laughs> a bond servant un siervo encadenado is... A slave es un esclavo that volunteers. Que es, es voluntario. It's not a slave with chains. No es un esclavo con cadenas. There's no chains on him. No hay cadenas en él. This type of servant can leave any time he wants. Este tipo de siervo puede irse cuando le dé la gana. And Paul says, I'm that type of slave. Y Pablo dice, yo soy ese tipo de esclavo. I'm an unchained <laughs> Slave. Soy un esclavo sin cadenas. Ooh. I felt that in my spirit. Sentí eso en mi espíritu. He says, I'm, the, I'm that donkey. Él dice, yo soy ese burrito. That was tied. Que estaba atado. And the Lord loosed me. Y el Señor me soltó. And set me free. Y me libertó. And now I walk with him. Y ahora camino con él. And I talk with him. Y hablo con él. And I cry with him. Y lloro con él. And I sing with him. Y canto con él. And I go through my ups with him. Y voy a los a, a mis altos and con I él. And I go through my downs with him. Y voy a mis profundos con él. I go through rich with him. Voy en riqueza con él. And I go through poverty with him. Y voy en pobreza con él. I go through joy with him. Voy en gozo con él. And I go through 
through sorrows with him. Voy en tristeza con él. But if, if it is anything that I've gained or lost, Pero si algo que he ganado o perdido, blessed be the name. Bendecido sea el nombre del Señor. They asked me, Pastor. Me preguntaron, Pastor. What would you change? ¿Qué cambia? Preaching since you were 14. ¿Qué cambiarías que ha estado predicando desde los 14 años? Pastoring at 26. Pastoreando desde los 26. Going through all of the things. Pasando por todas las cosas. People love you. People talking about you. Las personas te aman, hablan de ti. People for you. People against you. Las personas contigo, contra de ti. What would you change? ¿Qué cambiarías? And I was thinking. Estaba pensando. I wanted to, you know, come up with something deep. Quería compartir algo bien profundo. And there's a camera in front of me. Porque había una cámara delante de mí. And then the Holy Spirit whispered in my ear. Y el Espíritu Santo me dice en el oído. I wouldn't change nothing. Que no cambiaría nada. And I said. Y dije. I wouldn't change a thing. No cambiaría ninguna cosa. Because all of that. Porque todo esto that hurt me, that broke me, that eso lo que me lastimó, me pain, quebrantó ese dolor it was part era parte of how God formed me. de cómo Dios me formó I'm better right now estoy mejor ahora because of all that stuff por lo, todo eso que pasó that tied me down. que me tenía atado And maybe there's somebody here today tal vez hay alguien aquí hoy that you say the same. que dices lo mismo Lord, I thank you. Señor te doy gracias that you're able to take the chains off. Que puedes cortar las cadenas. Come on, stand to your feet. Párese de pies, por favor. Póngase de pie. I love it. Me encanta. Go, go, go to Zechariah. I gotta give this to you. Vamos al libro de Zacarías. Zechariah 9 and 12. Zacarías 9, 12. I feel such a beautiful presence of God right now. Siento la presencia de Dios aquí. Zechariah 9 and 12. Zacarías 9, 12. Return to the stronghold. Hear this. I love this. You prisoners of hope. Even today I declare that I will restore double to you. Dice Zacarías 9, 12. Vuelvan a su fortaleza. Cautivos de la esperanza. Oigan esto. Pues hoy mismo anuncio que les devolveré el doble. Now a preacher might just stay stuck. I will restore double to you, but that's not what excites me. Un predicador tal vez se queda aquí con el devolveré el doble, pero eso es lo que a mí no me encanta. You know what? You know what touches my heart? Sabes lo que toca mi corazón? He calls us a prisoner of hope. Dice que somos cautivos de la esperanza. That's a different type of bondage. Eso es un un diferente atado. He freed me. Él me libertó. And he calls me to be a prisoner of hope. Y me llama a ser eh, un prisionero de esperanza. So for that donkey, Así para ese burrito, he came from the restrictions of those ropes to the embrace of his hands. El, se, el burrito viene de estar atado en esas sogas a ser abrazado por sus brazos. When God reserves you, cuando Dios te reserva a ti, he calls you to him. Él te llama hacia él. Right now, ahora mismo, you know it, if you're right with God or if you're not. Tú sabes ahora mismo si tú estás correcto, andas correcto con Dios o no. I don't care how good of a person you are, your goodness is not taking you to heaven. No importa lo bueno que tú creas la persona que eres, el ser bueno no te va a hacer llegar, no te llega al cielo. Here's what might shock you. Aquí es lo que tal vez te, te queda sorprendido. There's sorprende. a lot of good people in hell. Hay muchas personas buenas que están en el infierno. Right now. Ahora mismo. There's a lot of good people in hell. Hay muchas personas buenas en el infierno. Because it's not your good that can take you to heaven, it is his goodness, Jesus, his blood, and our belief in him that can save you. El tu ser bueno no te puede llegar al cielo. Solamente la sangre de Cristo puede llevarte. So this was not the type of hold that was being held by the string that tied him down. This was a different type of hold. Esto no es el, el ser atado por la soga que lo tenía aguantado. Este es un atamiento diferente. He holds you from your own flesh. Él te agarra, te aguanta, te atada de tu propia carne. Hear this, fill the room with it. Here's the last point. Aquí está el último punto. And the last point is, el último punto es, Jesus tells his disciples, Jesús le dice a sus discípulos, to repeat 
que repitan what he said. lo que él dijo. He says, after you lose the donkey, y después que sueltan el burrito, if someone asks you, si alguien te pregunta, what are you doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? Just tell them simplemente dile what I said. lo que yo dije. I need the donkey. Necesito el burrito. And if you keep reading, y si seguimos leyendo, someone came up to him, sure enough, vino, así, llegó, and said, "What are you doing with this preguntó, donkey?" ¿Qué estás haciendo con ese burrito? And all they did was repeat what Jesus told them to say. Y simplemente lo que ellos hicieron fue repetir lo que Cristo le dijo que dijera. Jesus said, Jesús dijo, that he needs this donkey. Que necesita este burrito. And they said, "Well, if you're telling me what Jesus said, then you're good to go." Si se me está diciendo lo que dijo Jesús, entonces vaya. What am I saying, church? ¿Qué estoy diciendo, iglesia? In the times of your tribulation, en los tiempos de tu tribulación, remember what God said. Recuerda lo que Dios dijo. Repeat his words. Repite sus palabras. Meditate on his word. Medita en su palabra. Hear this. Hear this. Esto. Don't just hear his word. No simplemente escuchen su voz. Declare palabra. his word. Declara, declare en su I'm palabra. I'm not saying what I said. No estoy diciendo lo que yo dije. I must say what Jesus said. Voy a decir lo que Jesús dice. Because it's his word. Word that has life is his word that has power is his word and I'm not just going to receive it I'm not just going to retain this I'm going to repeat his word look at your neighbor and say remember receive and repeat it shows a picture of sharing the gospel Jesus says to the disciples, tell them that I said. Jesus, dile que yo dije. I want some disciples here today. Yo quiero discípulos aquí hoy. That can just say to the world what God said to you. I came to let somebody know, tell them what God told you. Vine a decirte ahí, dile lo que Dios te dijo tell them what God told you. Dile lo que Dios te dijo say it over your marriage. Dile sobre tu matrimonio. Say it over your home. Dile sobre tu hogar. Say it over your church. Dilo sobre tu iglesia. Say it over your family. Dilo sobre tu familia. Say it over your situations. Dilo sobre tus situaciones. Say it over your storms. Dile sobre tu tormenta. Let me tell you what God told me. Déjame decirte lo que Dios me dijo a mí. Because if faith cometh by hearing the word. Porque si la fe llega a través del oír la palabra. I can't hear a book. No puedo oír un libro. I can't hear a book. No puedo oír un libro. The only way I can hear this la única manera que puedo oírlo is if someone repeats what God said. Es si alguien repite lo que Dios dice. There's some of you here today. Hay algunos aquí hoy. You've been receiving. Han estado recibiendo. And receiving. Y recibiendo. But you have not been repeating. Pero han estado repitiendo. And I came to declare this over your life. Vine a declarar esto sobre tu vida. It's time to open up your mouth. Es tiempo de abrir tu boca. And confess it. It's time to open up your mouth and declare it. I want you to go over your children while they're sleeping and speak God's word over them while they're sleeping. Stop in the middle of the argument and just start declaring what thus saith the Lord over your house. Because death and life is in the power of your mouth. You've been talking more about what the devil's been putting in your mind and you've not been talking about what God has been putting in your heart. Tú has estado hablando más de lo que el diablo ha puesto en tu mente y no de lo que Dios ha puesto en tu corazón. And the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 and I've closed. Y la Biblia dice en Efesios capítulo 5 y con eso terminamos. Be imitators of God as beloved children. Efesios 5:1 Por tanto, imiten a Dios como hijos muy amados. Right there where you are. Ahí donde estás. Bow your head. Baja tu rostro. Close your eyes. Cierra tus ojos. If this message was for anybody here. Y este mensaje fue para alguien aquí. I want you to open up your heart right now. Quiero que abras tu corazón ahora mismo. I can say today I see myself in this story. I've been that donkey. I've been called by God. I've been stuck in that place. God has called me to him. And, and I don't want you to stay stuck. Puedo verme a mí mismo en esta historia como ese burrito atado ahí en el mismo sitio estancado y soltado, liberado. No quiero que tú que permanezcas atado en tu situación. Jesus did not just call the donkey, he sat on that donkey. Jesús no simplemente llamó el burrito, él se sentó, se montó encima del burrito. In other words, God's not just going to reserve it. Simplemente o diciendo que Dios no simplemente lo va a reservar. He's not going to see your restrictions. Él no va a ver tus restricciones. He's not going to 
call you to return él no va a llamarte a volver without using sin usarte can I say this to you puedo decirte esto God told me to tell you Dios me dijo que te diga he wants to use you él quiere usarte this is not just a pastor thing it is not just a a title thing in the church he wants to use you esto no se trata de pastor ni de título él quiere usarte a ti so if anybody's been tied down with your own issues así si hay alguien aquí que ha sido atado con tus propias situaciones you believe that God is able to set you free today y tú crees que Dios puede liberarte hoy and you need prayer y necesitas oración and if you're with your family y si estás con tu familia I want you to come down to this altar quiero que vengan al altar Baja if you're with your family come with your family si estás con tu familia ven con tu familia if you need prayer come si necesitas oración ven don't be embarrassed no tenga vergüenza I don't want you to come by yourself family come with them no venga sola familia venga con ellos altar call ministry would you please be in your positions come on Come, come. God, God is calling you. Dios te está llamando. He's reserved it for you. Él lo tiene reservado para ti. He, he knows your restrictions. Él sabe tus restricciones. He's calling you to return. Él te está llamando a volver. And Jesus y Jesús came into that city entró a esa ciudad riding a donkey. Montado en un burrito. Oh, I feel like preaching this thing here today. So I just get this out of my chest. Jesus came the first time. Jesús vino la primera vez. Riding on a donkey. Montado en un burrito. But when he comes again, Pero cuando vuelva otra vez, he's going to ride. He's going to be riding a white horse. Va a venir con un caballo blanco. He came the first time. Él vino la primera vez. As a humble servant. Con un siervo humilde. But when he comes again, Pero cuando vuelva otra vez, he's coming like a conquering king. Va a venir como un rey conquistador. When he came the first time, cuando vino la primera vez, he came with a staff. Vino con un con un palo. But when he comes again, Pero cuando vuelva otra vez, he's holding a sword. The first time Jesus came, the world rejected him. But when he comes again, every eye will see him. And every knee shall bow. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The first time Jesus came, he came humble, born in a stable, in Bethlehem. But the second time he comes, he's coming like the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The first time Jesus came, he came in like a gentle lamb. But when he comes again, he's roaring like the lion of the tribe of Judah. The first time he came, he came with a triumphal entry with humility but when he comes again he's coming with a glorified triumphal return and though he was once despised and rejected of men he will return with power and with glory and the Bible says in Revelation Then I saw the heavens open. Entonces vi los cielos abiertos. And behold, a white horse. The one sitting on it was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire. Jesus is coming back with power and with authority. Jesús volverá con poder y autoridad cuando vuelva por segunda vez. I need every altar call minister Necesito cada persona del ministerio de altar to just lay hands on every person that you can come in front of them and Venga place delante. your hand over them. Venga delante de ellos y ponga tu mano I know you guys, come, come, Sister Jessica, come, Sister Elizabeth, come, my brother, come, come. Begin to just minister. Lay hands, even if you have to lay hands on two or three. Matter of fact, don't even sing. 
I want you to help me pray. I want you to help me pray. Right there, well, I want you to help me pray. I know it's different, but I want you to help me pray. Sister, her too. I know it's different. It's in your heart, just do it. I'm challenging you to do it. Go, Sister Francis. I want you to help me pray. Come, come, come. Ooh, there is a weight being lifted off of you. No fear. Just lay your hands and let the Lord guide you. Ora